Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. They lift your voice and pray. Expand my understanding. Someone is praying, expand my understanding. Expand my understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray that you will help us this morning, grant us illumination in Jesus' name. Okay, please be seated. I want you to get something to write and then please be prepared to listen. Um, yesterday was the crusade. This is a leadership summit, so I just want to speak a bit on leadership. I think many believers respectfully speaking do not really understand the concept of kingdom leadership and i hope that uh, the brief moments that we we'll share together in addition to all that you have learned will construct or reconstruct your understanding as far as influence is concerned hallelujah no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for you so you submit to his work in you till Christ is formed in you no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has prepared for me so I submit to his work in me till Christ be formed in me till Christ be formed in me your wisdom reveal through me your glory rests on me so I submit to his work in me till Christ is formed in me May this song be your testimony that something about your understanding will cause the nations to stand in awe of the grace and the glory of the Lord that is upon your life in the name of Jesus amen and amen somebody who died was allocated to your grace for their healing but because you refused to rise they had to go how many more people will die every day because of your carelessness This is the urgency that drives me. For every time I refuse to pray, I know somebody in a nation or somewhere in this nation will pay the price for that carelessness. For every time I refuse to study, my incompetence will have a direct effect on somebody's spiritual life. There are nations that depend on the truth we communicate for the continuity of their spiritual progress. I cannot afford to be careless. Is too much of a risk listen ladies and gentlemen we are going to pray your prayer is going to be to cry for grace and say Lord in my lifetime I must represent the purposes of God to my generation open your mouth and from the depth of your heart pray I don't know how you are going to cry to God oh but please don't look around cry to the God of heaven let it be from the depth of your heart you have taken the time to come here this morning you have labored in the spirit right from early in the morning 
finish up that investment by putting some energy to your prayer and David served the purposes of God in his generation I obtained grace I obtained grace someone is praying hallelujah hallelujah in the name of Jesus we are still praying the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and then it says to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto Jesus he says who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him the Bible says he endured the cross and despised the shame someone is going to pray every weight weights are not necessarily wrong they are just luggages that are unnecessary relative to where god is taking you to lift your voice and cry every weight every distraction could be friends could be activities could be mindsets Crapeta shavada kata prande gebele kato siata. Ekre kate pete kato skote prande gebele kata. Every weight, every weight. There is a great destiny. There is a great destiny. Someone pray. We're almost done. Someone pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. 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 He said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. You are going to pray. Father, the portion of relevance and influence you have connected to my life, may I step into it. Lift your voice and pray. The portion of influence, the portion of kingdom relevance allocated unto me. He gave unto one five talent. He gave unto one two, to another one. But he gave everybody something. Pray. Regardless your background, my dear brother, my dear sister, this God is able to lift men. Pray. Commanding kingdom influence for the sake of his majesty. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let me speak over your life now. You will be surprised to see what happens to your life after today. I'm on my way to better days. That will be your song. I'm on my way to better days. Regardless your background. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way to better days. Hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen. The assignment of the prophetic, among many other things, is to grant you access to the grace that will help you to rise to that place of destiny for you see it is not given to you to honor yourself you can respect yourself but honor is conferred upon you by another I'm looking at people here this morning some of you have come from backgrounds like Nathaniel said about Jesus can anything good come out of Nazareth 
sincerely speaking there are some of you if we are to be honest to analyze demographically speaking there is no advantage in terms of your earthly connection you will need to outsource help from a dimension that is higher than your background please help those under the anointing because i want to pray something is about to come on you this is my last assignment and then you leave we do not just rise in this kingdom it says thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over he does not anoint the cup but i know what is on your cup by looking i know what is on your head by looking at the result on your cup if your cup is empty don't blame the cup it is because there is nothing on your head the cup is a reflection of what is on your head hear me i am a product of many anointings many anointings I have secured the blessing of many fathers by the privilege of God's grace. It is from the abundance of that which we receive that we give. He said, look on us. And the Bible says the man at Get Beautiful looked at them expecting to receive something. And he says, such as I have, give I unto you. There are some of you, you may, be, you may look small and silent. It looks like nobody has heard you. But there is a prophetic destiny connected to you that you will so shake Port Harcourt, River State. I'm not just speaking in terms of ministry. There are emerging businesses that will rise from this conference. There are individuals who will be connected at a global scale. My assignment is to release that grace upon you. Your assignment is to receive. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hand upon you. I'm releasing this grace. The grace that causes nations to hear your voice. Receive that anointing right now. Take that grace right now. Take Take that anointing right now. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Take that grace now. Receive that anointing in business, in ministry. I release that anointing upon you now. I release that grace upon you now. hear me the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I don't know who is the helper of your destiny but I want to call them by prophecy I speak to River State I speak over the South South everyone mandated by God to hold your hand in this season receive an anointing that attracts them to your life Receive an anointing that attracts them to your life. Help them, please. Receive an anointing that attracts them to your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The Bible says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17, the Bible says she the king loved esther more than all the virgins exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation in the name of jesus may this grace for favor rest upon you let it rest upon you upon your business upon your family upon your ministry hallelujah hear me there is a grace for visibility neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel he told abraham he said from where thou art lift up your eyes you can look from where you are you don't need to go anywhere from where you are your hands may not get there your feet may not get there but your eyes can go there from where thou art he said lift up your eyes and look northwards southwards eastward that everywhere your eyes sees to you I have given us an inheritance i want to pray for the grace to be visionary because you see vision is more than a psychological thing it takes the spirit of god opening your eyes to see Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower and I will see what he will say unto me. 
in the name of Jesus, may your eyes be open to see. <laughs> Hear me. Hagar was in the desert and yet there was an oasis in the desert and she could not see. But when God opened her eyes, she saw an oasis. There was a lamb that was near Abraham and yet he did not see. It was until God told him there is a lamb and he saw a lamb that had been caught. Only God knows the opportunities around your life and ministry. But until you have the eyes that sees, and in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9, there is an anointing that God gave Paul and he has given it by extension to his holy apostles and prophets. It is the grace that makes all men see. I decree and declare the miracle of open eyes. Receive it now. Receive it now. Capacity to see into what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're wrapping up. Give me a minute or two. Something is happening to you. I want to declare restoration and speed. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, please look up. You see, the unit of destiny is time. The unit of destiny is time. Hear me. Anything that takes your time has taken a portion of your life. Anything. And one way that the devil aborts great destinies is to make you waste time through a mystery called delay. You know what delay is? Delay happens to you when the only thing growing in your life is your age. And there are two mysteries that remedy delay. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When God wants to help you as far as the matters of destiny is concerned, he will allow these twofold mysteries to be at work in your life. The mystery of speed and the mystery of restoration. Time can be restored. He said, and I will restore the years. Speed can be given. Listen, when, when Jacob and Rebekah connived to act like Esau and they brought the venison for Isaac, Isaac said, how come you have come so fast? You are not supposed to have arrived by this time. And he said, the Lord had shown me mercy. Let me pray for someone in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that has left you, that is not supposed to have left, I stand by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic. Receive restoration now. Receive apakaposketepeketebalaka. Receive restoration. I place it on your head. I place it on your ministry. I place it on your business. I place it on your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare speed. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Israel. I pray for you. May God take 10 years and put it in one year. 10 years. Help them. 10 years in one year. I prophesy speed. Receive that grace. I place that anointing upon you. 10 years in one year. Hallelujah. 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 My last prayer for you. Please listen. You see, we are made by these prophetic words we receive. They are not empty words, believe me. 
there is a throne in heaven that backs these speakings hallelujah Amen. I want to speak finally over your life and release upon you the grace for honor look at me you know what honor is honor means to be acknowledged and rewarded to match your true worth that means it is possible to be perceived less than your true worth is that true when the grace for honor is upon you it mandates that men acknowledge and reward the hand of God in your life to match the degree of your sacrifice this is what many people lack in their lives they do not lack value they lack honor he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God is that in your Bible even my God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows Joshua was already full of the Holy Ghost and the Lord instructed him in Deuteronomy it says thou shalt take Joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says thou shalt take some of your honor and give unto him so that the nation of Israel will hearken to him please look at me this generation is too busy too selfish and in many cases too wicked to pay indefinite dedicated attention to you except there is a grace that compels it so do not ever think except you are you want balloon success where you are up today and anything that happens you are down in shame tomorrow there is a grace that lifts men and keeps men but I know whom I believe he says and I am persuaded I'm seeing light come on that woman with black a black scarf that woman yes I just saw light like light coming on her in the name of Jesus madam I don't know what but the Lord is saying your life is shifting to a new dimension beginning from today help her honor is a grace that is the grace that will compel kings Jesus had that grace even as a baby that was why the Magi came why will the Magi come to greet a baby what value had he provided at the point where he came there is a place for value but you cannot beat what honor does even for a baby at the infancy kings will start coming the Magi saw a star and that star they followed that star and when they came they saw a baby they were not embarrassed they bowed before the baby and gave gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh this is what I want to pray for you finally my brothers and my sisters let me tell you what honor will give you in one day a lifetime may not be able to give you I know what I'm saying father in the name of your son Jesus standing upon the grace of the intercontinental pastor and praying over your precious people here and across the overflows then by extension the many who are following by way of internet and television in the name that is above all names as we have received even from the fathers and those that have gone ahead of us from today over your life your business your family your ministry honor let it rest on you now I say it again honor let it rest on you now honor let it rest on you now let this man to drive away shame let this man to drive away reproach let this man to drive away shame let this man to drive away reproach hear me where you have been forsaken and forgotten so that no man passes through you i call you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you keep loving jesus keep serving him in truth 
do not forget the four pillars I have taught you do not some of your family members they may not even be born again but when my God I don't know about your own God but when my God arises and shows up this year there are doors that will open that your children's children will eat from as many as are far off in the name of Jesus Christ all doors including the one that is not your business provided it came under the covering of your prayer all doors all doors what is your business with your neighbors rising all doors all doors all doors financial doors there are people who have struggled in ministry I'm saying this prophetically you have done everything with the integrity of heart and it looks like those doors are not opening help them I decree and declare by the mantle that came with this prophetic word in the name of Jesus strange doors will begin to open for you hear me there are businesses that lost money last year lost opportunity last year you are saying God I do not even know how to start you don't need one or two doors the situation you are in now even if two doors open it may not be enough in the name of Jesus let the all door anointing the all door anointing the all door anointing let it rest upon you please do not be careless with prophetic words this year not everybody is joking and playing games there are words that come from the bowel of prayer and contact with the spirit all doors all doors using all your money to treat your health because the devil wants to kill you don't keep quiet and die as if you are not a believer this door of health you must open up this year hear me this is the year you should not listen to all that nonsense and say it has always been like that there is power to change it it has always been like that that if you do not have a key prison doors don't open except that when God comes he rewrites rules again hallelujah all doors all doors this is what God has said and we believe now watch this it means therefore that in this year 2023 God is going to be principally dealing with us across three areas one access to the keys of the kingdom he's going to be teaching us to know how to access the keys of the kingdom according to Matthew 13 and verse 11 it says it has been given unto you to know the kingdom the mysteries of heaven Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 16 to 19 Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus and he cried unto God that he said I cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayer 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him reading to 19 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened it says that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints verse 19 it says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe to us word who believe to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power so all through this year every koinonia service will be a feast of light revelation and mysteries coming to empower you by the spirit number two favor this year God is going to be granting us access to understand the mysteries of favor seeing then that knocking will require a man at the other side of the door to open it revelations 3 9 please revelations 3 9 you need to understand the mysteries that control favor never let anybody downplay the place of favor 3 9 revelations behold it says um okay give us verse 8 my apologies 3 8 3 8 i know thy works he said behold I have said before thee 
So there are times that an open door can be set before you. Your assignment is to walk into it because you have received help. He said, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue unto this day. I have set before you an open door. No man, because it was not a man that opened it. A man cannot shut it. I have set before you. There are times that the door is closed. He gives you keys to open. But there are times he can set before you an open door by the help of God. Hallelujah. And then of course, number three. This year, God is going to be teaching our hands to war. Seeing then that there is a dimension of warfare and power. Give us Psalm 144 and verse 1. That God is able to teach our hands to war and even our fingers to fight. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, he says, that you war a good warfare with the prophecy. There are words that are coming. You must gain mastery on how to war a good warfare in the spirit. Because there are doors that will never open except by engaging the power of God. Psalm 66 and verse 3. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto you. Can I tell you the truth? There are certain things about your business, your life, your home, your children. It is going to take the ministry of warfare and power. Hallelujah. I prayed for a young man one time, very, you know, like a, I think a teenager or so. And this gentleman said, whenever it's time for exams, very young boy, intelligent, even talking with him, you will know that this is a bright boy. But you see the results of that boy is not something that glorifies God at all. The failure is too bad. And the boy said every time he sits down, um, he just goes blank during exams. And until he writes nonsense or nothing at all, he will leave that place and start remembering everything. That child does not need counseling. What that child needs is power. Are we together? For many of us, hear me, there are many doors, even spiritual doors, doors of hearing, doors of seeing that have been closed over your life. Channels of my spirit, open up. I am with the Father, open up. No boundaries, no limits, open up. My hearing open up you are a door see listen hear me you can be standing close to the helper of your destiny and yet not know that between you and him is a door and be wondering why you are so close and yet nothing reaches you don't forget Luke 11 I am close to you just a door difference but it's already late the door is shut I cannot give you there are many of you who have been so close to people that in a moment can change your life. Sincerely speaking, they discuss the rising of others in your presence and say, um, I will remember, I will do something about your issue. And yet you see God using them to lift others and you are there. Just because you are looking at a man does not mean there is no door. Doors can be invisible. Invisible does not mean unreal. Invisible just means beyond the scope of your optical eyes. In fact, most doors are invisible. Hallelujah. Most doors are invisible. 
Ali Shalika Sobrande Gasatia. Shalado Savretes Kebeleku Shabranda Gadiada. Grande Gasso de Belegu Siata. I'm just seeing what looks like a coffin and I'm seeing like a dead corpse coming back to life. This is what I'm seeing. There is an anointing that is bringing resurrection to many families. That many things that have been buried down. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Everything that has died that should come back to life. Your joy, your peace, your prosperity. I command that it jacks back to life now. I command that it jacks back to life now. Hear me? Please listen to me. Help that lady, please. I want you to listen. We are, we are going to pray some serious prayer now. That's why I didn't take so much time to teach. Every city you see has doors. Just because you are in the city does not mean you are in there already. Please hear me. Preachers hear me. Business people hear me. You can be in Abuja for 10 years and in the spirit you are not yet there. That's why everything that is in that city does not answer to you. Why do you think there was a triumphant entry with Jesus? What was the significance? He said, blessed is he that comes. Was he not already there? Many of you who have been around northern states, when you are entering a northern state, there are usually like gates. They are not closed. But you will be mistaken to say they are not closed. Those things are not just architectural constructions. No. A city can reject you and you will know it because you are around what should bless you and it will never bless you. Please hear me. The same way the Bible says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and yet you are on earth here and the Bible says it's a spiritual reality. Many of you physically you are in a place of abundance but in the realm of the spirit you are in the wilderness somewhere. That's why it does not matter even if someone gives you 10 million. By that mystery of closed doors something must happen for that money to vanish. You may not be careless but what is happening? Closed doors. Closed doors. How do I know that my doors are closed? Because there is no remembrance to bless you. There are many people like that. Every time it is time to bless and live, they are always forgotten. Elohim Madonai. shared with you my story many years ago I was praying from my little room and then my ceiling disappears and then I see this object this creature looking like a dragon kind of bulgy eyes gigantic eyes the size of a man's head will be one of the eye of that creature and it had a tail that was alive having its own life independent of the creature with red fiery eyes and he was looking at me and said so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was it hear me ladies and gentlemen people don't just remember you to bless you there are mysteries that you engage frowning your face and saying this person knows me and he has forgotten about me you are wasting your time you need to access by grace the keys there are many people who are in ministry under a close heaven in business under a close heaven close everything 
and you can be well-meaning and sincere and find out that gates don't open there are regions that have gates professions have gates anointings have gates that's why a man can pray for you but you have not done what opened the gate or the door that leads to his anointing you may even fall down and stand up the truth is nothing will work when it was time for isaac to bless his sons he needed something that opens the gates of his anointing he said go and make me venison not anyone such as my soul loves there are rules for that flow of power the year of open doors the year of open doors opportunities unhindered now hear me I decided to just give a charge and not take time to teach we have a whole year to do that because we're getting into a serious prayer session now and please do not let the devil fool you this prayer is what will activate and release these anointings hallelujah please look up every day has a door 12 noon or 12 midnight is not what opens a day no sir no just because your clock tells you 11 59 p.m then the next minute you just say good morning physically bar but in the realm of the spirit you will be surprised many people are still in next year last year last month there is no forward movement i wish what i were telling you were a lie i would not come here and play games to such an intelligent people hallelujah it is not the passage of time that introduces next days remember doors midwife seasons doors midwife realms doors midwife faces and levels in life you can be at the same level because a door that should open has not been opened hallelujah praise the name of the Lord when it was time for Lazarus to come forth Jesus said roll the stone that door that has sealed his resurrection because if the door does not open his resurrection will be useless open it and when they rolled the stone away he said Lazarus now you come forth and then he said lose him and let him go I know you have business ideas but is the door open just because you bought a shop or a store or a mall does not mean you are in business there are doors why do you think they call certain people and even spirits gatekeepers what are they keeping before Jesus started his ministry Satan took him to a mountain and said listen you know better than I do look at the glories of the world that means the glories of the world were not controlled by what happened there the spirit that was in the madman in Gadara was what controlled the economy of the Gadarenes. The moment something happened to that man, the business in Gadara died immediately. There are people who are rising, it's not what they are selling. There has been doors that were opened through covenants in the spirit. Hallelujah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors listen to these stubborn gates and doors that the king of glory shall come in go to verse 8 it says who is this king of glory so don't think the doors will just open because you said it is a prophetic word even for Jesus they ask a question who do you think you are ah, but I love the answer there is no discussion there go back to verse 8 the Lord strong not the Lord weak if it is the Lord strong then it must be the believer strong if it is the Lord mighty then it must be the believer mighty if the Lord is mighty even in battle then the believer will be in battle too our assignment in warfare I have taught you is to establish that which is finished our assignment in warfare 
is not to create a battle and fight with physical strength. Our warfare in this kingdom has to do with establishing that which is finished. And in the next few minutes, you are not going to be praying for someone else yet. This destiny, you are going to flog it out this first service. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. unhindered let it be so in the name of Jesus that every closed door opens hear me how do you know that a door has opened restraint is lifted how do you know that a door has opened movement is now secured the hindrance is taken away Restrictions in ministry, restrictions in your home, restrictions in your finances, restrictions even in your spirit walk. Can I tell you the truth? Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Just because God has spoken, I told you, does not mean it will happen. My Bible is full of many things that God said that did not come to pass because those He said it to thought He was joking. The Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Is that true? It says that in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart like they did in the wilderness. Don't hear what God is saying and say nonsense. It may not happen. And don't make the foolish decision that the man in Samaria, who the king leans upon, said, even if the, the God will open the windows of heaven, might this thing be? For some of you in the place of prayer, God will tell you that January will not come to an end until you are laughing already. And you may not believe him because you look at your life surrounded with pain and shame and everything. Every time you are tempted to doubt, remind yourself who spoke. If it's just your neighbor or your friend who spoke, or an unserious man of God who is not serious with the matters of the spirit, then you may be afraid. But if it's the God of heaven who spoke, go and find out the things that he said that people believed and find out whether it did not come to pass. He said, by this time tomorrow, we discussed this last year, by this time tomorrow, hallelujah, we are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes. We are going to pray seriously. 
you are saying apostle i've been walking slow there is the energy of the spirit coming on you a time will come in your life you will run like elijah then you will fly like the eagle help them please please hear me in this sermon tonight i just described for you my spiritual journey with god authentic power is beyond impartation it will take a track record of properly following these faces many people keep receiving hands laid on them with an empty mind the absence of a track record with the holy spirit the ministry of prayer and the word that's why the impartation does not serve the value of impartation is that it comes upon a knowledgeable vessel are we together the spirit of the living god when that power from on high comes upon you ladies and gentlemen it is able to turn saul into paul ah it is able to turn sarai into sarah tonight the lord has sent me here to give us an opportunity to experience all three phases for someone the first phase is your desperate need you were invited for this crusade probably thank you for coming for someone what you need is the grace and the energy to step into a season of radical transformation and renewal some of you who are already prematurely exposed in ministry may need to take a little break and say this shame and reproach that i keep bringing on the altar i am tired of it i need to return back and file myself not from a competitive standpoint but so that i can become a battle axe that cuts indeed then the final phase i believe there are many people here who are sincerely saying apostle i with all humility i can say that i've submitted myself to doctrine and learning but the power of god seems to be absent from my life my family my ministry and my business ladies and gentlemen let me tell you you cannot accomplish the purposes of god in the strength of the flesh and you see the thing about spiritual power is that if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there there is no hoping wishing you can know that it has come he says such as i have you can know you have it we see the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heart beats of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain hey, open the flood gates of heaven let it Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Say mana na masia na mana, shabra da te mana na mana masia na 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 mana. Shali mana se na mania na, she na de, she na na, she na na. Shala gabara kata prasa da bala kato shabra kada melekos. Kebranda kabara to safra kashka debala kata praska bena kaposya ta. Kranda kabara kabaka to safra kada bala kata. Hapa te kabara kata. Ete shabariata. Embra katos kada bakata. Shabada 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 shabada. Embra kepere kete katos kate bala kata. Prophet Joel said, blow the trumpet in Zion. 
sound the alarm but I, caught, I came by the road of a higher priesthood to sound an alarm that there is a revival coming there are men and women of God that must arise 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 awake thou that sleepest and Christ shall give thee life the ministry of the Holy Ghost bringing empowerment bringing empowerment capacity to represent him as a witness he said but ye shall receive power ye shall receive power not just knowledge ye shall receive power Hear me. When that grace comes upon you, <laughs> Saul, you may be the son of Kish, but when you meet Prophet Samuel, you will be turned into another man. You will come to the garrison of the Philistines. Someone tonight is about to be turned to another man. Turned to another man. Open your mouth wherever you are and begin to cry for the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth right where you are. Spirit of the living God. You are the maker of men. The quickener of our spirit man. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. There is a cloud of God's glory over this congregation. For some of you, God is saying, I've been waiting for you to hear this message. To connect it to the dreams that you've been having. You have been seeing yourself mightily used by God. But you've been saying, how shall I become that? This message was a roadmap for you. There are many ladies here. You will rise after the order of Deborah. Mighty warriors indeed. Mighty warriors like the Bora. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors. Mighty warriors. Bring them out. Mighty warriors by the Spirit. Mighty warriors by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mighty warriors in the Spirit. Now hear me. There are three things we are going to do here very quickly. Fire is about to fall in this place. Please, I want everybody, let your hearts be opened. Don't say you cannot receive, no matter what level and dimension. There is something more. Something more. Ministry without results, there is something more. Power needs to come upon your life. The world is tired of explanations. The Bible does not say they are waiting for the explanations. No more excuses. You need to access power from heaven. Now hear me please. Please hear me listen very carefully. Just leave those under the anointing. You don't have to distract them. There is a reason why we ask that they come. However... I want to pray. Remember what I told you. Anyone under the anointing close to you, please. You have a duty to help them so they don't injure themselves. But I need to pray. You are the covenant keeping God. You 
Joshua, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You are a The covenant keeping God Yahweh Yahweh The covenant keeping God Yahweh Yahweh The covenant keeping God Now, please hear me Without destruction for those who are going to be coming out now that I'm going to call, please be mindful of those on the floor so that you do not injure them in a very orderly way. I'm going to make an altar call. There is no point deceiving yourself and lying. There's no point cajoling you. You can know that you are saved. And you can know that you are lost. Based on this description tonight, for some of you, you have not even started the journey. In the custom of our father, I'm going to count one to five. Now listen carefully. In running out, I repeat, be mindful of those in front and use the spaces available. You are saying, Apostle, I came for this meeting. My heart has been yearning for Jesus. I just didn't know it was Jesus I was crying for. Or you are here saying, Apostle, I remember making this decision some time back. But as it is, I cannot say that I'm walking in the things of God. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, there's no point pretending. I repeat, as you come out, be mindful of these people. I'm going to count one to five. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please make sure you are really coming to Jesus. Two. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Three. Someone is finally winning that war of destiny. Nothing to be ashamed of. Come. Come. Everyone who thirsts, let him come. 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 Jesus. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Come, come. If it is for Jesus, I will still give you a few seconds. Come. Someday, look up, please. One glorious morning, you will wake up like any other day. Perhaps going to lecture for a student, to the market for a, a housewife, going to your job for a career person, perhaps going to church for a pastor, a crusade for another pastor, and then there will be a sudden disappearance of people that glorious morning when the trumpet will sound you remember the old song we used to sing when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see jesus will sing and shout the victory 
Let's sing it one more time. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Hallelujah. Till he returns or calls me home here in the love of Christ I'll stand even after 30 years till he returns or calls me home it's here in the love of Christ I'll stand as a man of God as a husband, a wife, a young child, an old woman, a CEO. Till he returns or calls you home. It's here in the love of Christ you stand. Now watch this. For those of you who are in front here, thank you for the bold decision. There are counselors giving you a card counselors leave the card so that they will see please make sure if you are if you are in front and you've not received the card just lift your hand and they will slip one counselors let's do that very quickly they would slip a card to your hand now please i i do not think all of them will be able to complete the card immediately i wish you do but when it's time to pray you may need to pause so you concentrate on the prayer um if you can, it should take maybe less than a minute to legibly fill it with all your details because there will be a follow-up system. And then for those who are making this decision by television, internet, or probably you are watching by way of rebroadcast again across the nations of the earth, the US, Europe, and any other state in Nigeria, across Africa, distance is no barrier. Jesus is calling you here at this crusade to the glory and the praise of his name he's given you an opportunity to make it right with jesus now for those of you who are in front may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head remember the starting point for the believer's life is to make things right with jesus say this after me let it be loud and clear mean it from your heart and unto jesus say lord jesus one more time, say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm born again. I am a child of God. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I come to you with gratitude. For no man comes to you except you draw them. And the Bible says, blessed is the man whom the Lord causes to approach him. You have caused these ones to come. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will no wise cast away. In the name of Jesus and by the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. I declare over you that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken. Every legal access the devil has over your life by the blood of the eternal covenant is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus, I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I commend you to the ministry of the word. 
I declare that from tonight you'll be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward ever and backward never. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, while we clap for them, may I request that you all please move to my right, which will be your left from where you are standing. There are counselors who will have a word with you very quickly. Please do comply with them. They will have your details. Just pray with you and you will quickly join the remaining part of the service. Can we give them a big, big God bless you as they go? Go ahead, celebrate them. Go ahead, celebrate them. Is this the best you can do for them, Port Harcourt? Hallelujah. Now, you are still part of the service. Don't feel left out because you're just moving to the left. Um, let me just take about five minutes if you would spare me that time. I know that our time is fast spent. But may I request that you lend me five minutes just to speak over someone's life. I do not believe that a people will gather unto God this way and go back the same way they came. I do not believe it. The God that I serve is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. My God is a miracle walker. God is, you are a glorious God. God is, he's a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. God is a destiny changer. God is a miracle. Hallelujah. I want to quickly pray. We may not have the time, sadly, to take testimonies. I'm not sure. But it's important that I do this. You see, the preaching of the gospel was designed to go hand in glove with the ministry of signs and wonders. Are we together? In John chapter 4 and verse 48, it says, Except ye see miraculous signs and wonders, ye will not believe. So I want to pray. It's going to be an all-encompassing prayer. God is already ministered to people and is still ministering to others. I'm going to pray for the sick, pray for the oppressed. And for those of you who are trusting God for any miracle and any manifestation that becomes a consolation to your Christian experience, here is your chance to receive. I believe in the power of God. I am a beneficiary of the power of God, not just a dispenser of the same. I know what the power of God is able to do. So may I request, if you can, just stand for a moment, and then I pray for you. I want to minister to the sick now. If you are sick in your body, I want you to place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle. And the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. And the honor, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. Like you. 
We believe in him that he died and rose from the grave. We believe that he is able to heal. He is able to deliver. He is able to bless. I want to pray for you right now. I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus. In as much as we, for the constraint of time, may not have the opportunity, or perhaps we may just have one or two or three testimonies, and then you can share the remaining at the subsequent sessions. The most important thing is that you experience the healing power of Jesus. Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Such a strong presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. hear me in the name of Jesus Christ there's such a strong anointing that is touching people right now by the power of the Holy Spirit now I don't know why God does this thing sometimes but it's very strange watch this now I'm about to pray for you no 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 please don't 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 do that to the gentleman please someone guide these people don't do that please take him back don't do that you're going to hurt the gentleman please don't do that. It's wrong. Please don't do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we together? Now watch this. I hear a very loud shout in my spirit. When that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. This is what I heard in my spirit. This is the shout. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Shout a loud amen as I begin to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and declare. Every devil of infirmity. In your body. Around your life. I command it to give way right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Every sickness. I decree and declare be healed now. Eye conditions. Be healed now. Deaf ears. I command be open now bone conditions I declare be healed now help them please you don't have to bring them out again don't worry you don't have to bring those under the anointing again that's fine just, just manage them where you are There's someone you could not hear with your, your left ear. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition here represented, I declare be cleansed right now. The Lord is showing me at least four ladies. For two of them, you have, I don't know if it's been medically verified, but you have multiple lumps, your left breast, multiple lumps. I'm seeing the power of God touch you. I declare that that devil leaves right now. Now, that devil leaves now. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Peptic ulcer, 
be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, again I say, be healed in Jesus' name. There's someone you have suffered from pile, pile, very painful pile. The power of God is touching you right now. I don't know, but the Lord is showing me a woman who is a sister to someone who is here. Seven years, she's not had a child. Seven years. This is what I see in my vision. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, let this be the season of fruitfulness for her. Please help her. Let this be the season of... Help them, please, my God. Look what God is doing there. There's someone who is having, I don't know if he's had palpitations, but I know that it's a cardiovascular disease. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, be healed now. God is showing me one, a gentleman. I don't know if it's that you lost your sense of smell or you cannot smell at all completely. In the name of Jesus, let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. Amen. You are having sleep abnormalities. You go to lie down and you barely sleep for 30 minutes and that's it. You are not able to sleep again. The Bible says, but he giveth his beloved sleep. I decree and declare that whatever medical issue that is, it comes to an end right now. Amen. Every bone problem I command be healed now every problem with your joints I command be healed now in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now negative genotypes change now There's someone you have a problem swallowing. I don't know what problem you have with your throat. It's, it looks like, you know how you swallow food and it doesn't go completely. It's been like that for a long time. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, you are a bit elderly, maybe in your 50s or thereabouts. You don't seem to be able to stand in the sun for a long time. The moment you stand for a short time, you start having, it's like breathlessness and tiredness, like a nauseating feeling. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare unto you, the power of God is bringing you healing right now. And for some, you may not be sick in terms of bodily problems, but there may be serious problems around your finances, around your family. Let me prophesy upon you. He said, I prophesied I was com as I was commanded and there was a sound. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to receive this prophetic word. Look and leave, my brother, leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. Is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Every closed door over your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. Believe it. I speak to that door. Be open now. Help them please. Help them please. Be open now. Ephata, be open now. Embargo of shame and reproach that the devil has placed as a garment over you. I tear that garment off right now. I tear that garment of shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. There are many of you who have labored and toiled without profit. A grace is about to come on you. 
I decree and declare, go forth and start excelling. I pray for those who are students. Elihu said in chapter 32 and verse 8 of Job that there is a spirit in man. He says, and the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty is able to make men of understanding. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray over your mind and your intelligence. Step into a dimension of godlike intelligence. Retentive capacity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For everyone who made it for this crusade tonight, I prophesy to you, from January till December, I command laughter. I command laughter. The sound of sadness and mourning will be far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm still praying over your life that when men say there is a casting down as for you and for your loved ones let your testimony be that there is a lifting up it says your gates shall be continually open they will not be shut day and night so that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles hear me everyone who has been mandated by God to hold your hand as a destiny helper this year i speak to the north to the south the east and the west i call them to gravitate towards your life <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to someone as i prepare to wrap up who has gone through negative seasons and it looks like your service to god has not brought profit I have a prophetic word for you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, in this season, my God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. My God, who is also your God, is doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for someone who is in the order of Gideon coming as the least in your family and the least in the tribe and it looks like nothing good has come out of you in the name that is above all names i speak to you by the grace that lifts men from their lowly estate to the place of nobility and honor may that grace locate you now <laughs> hallelujah Please make sure you are receiving these prophetic words. They are not empty, believe me. Nathaniel said about Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? It was not his fault. He had seen a track record of great Nazarenes fall, like Samson. Men who would rise and not live long. They did not have longevity of honor and results. I pray for someone. Any pattern you have seen in your family, people dying before their time, women becoming the men and men becoming the women all kinds of negative patterns my bible says blotting out every handwriting and the ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross be delivered once and for all help them please be delivered once and for all hallelujah we're wrapping up. And every spiritual force that has constituted itself as an altar, impeding the growth and the progress of men, let me speak to you. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, over Potakot, over God's people. Be ye lifted ancient doors, and let the King of glory come in. I decree and declare, these gates and doors give way to your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
if there is anyone here, the spirit of untimely death is roaming around the corridors of your life or for your loved ones, that the devil has vowed that there must be a cry of premature death over your family. I stand in partnership with all the graces here represented and we declare the fullness of your days you must fulfill. The fullness of your days you must fulfill. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me encourage you finally for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. I want to end my teaching tonight by encouraging you that it pays to live for Jesus. There are many distractions in our world today from social media to status quo, what we believe defines civilization. For you, come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you, so you do what you do. We need a more. Let's sing it one more time. You are crying your heart to Him. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Say. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. In 2007, I was tired of, in this case now, my financial condition. I remember I went for a conference, Pastor. I really was sad. Not because I'm not a materialistic person at all. But poverty is bad. Whether you are materialistic or not, it is. It is wicked and demonic. Let me tell you why poverty is bad. Because it interrupts the well-being of your life and the advancement of the program of God. If poverty were neutral, I would not have any problem with it. But it can interrupt you in a way that even sickness will not interrupt you. But I remember that night, it was a prosperity convention. People gave, I was outside. When I went home, the Lord gave me an instruction to give literally everything I had. I'm not calling for seats, don't worry. Listen. I got up that morning, 3 p.m. God is my witness. Carried, it was not so much I had, but I was, de I was determined. Wishing to rise is wasting your time. Mm -mm. Desire is important, but it's only the first step. Desire must intermeddle with wisdom to profit you. And with wisdom, there must be action. The Bible calls it well-doing, more than well-thinking, more than well-wishing. There must be a doing for it to be called sowing. And I made up my mind. I remember the next, I prayed for three hours, laid my hands on that, whatever it is, my, my bag. I got up and I dragged it to church. I got to church and there, it was an overflow like this. I was outside. People came and were dropping seeds on the altar. And now I stayed back there. God just instructed me to remain there. When everybody had dropped it, God said, I can now go to the altar. I carried that bag and I was dragging it. With every step I knew I was dying. There is, you see, it's easy to give Ishmael. But if it is Isaac Bar, you must be a man of faith. I took that thing and I dropped it at the altar. I went back and I sat down. I say this with every sense of humility and responsibility. The Holy Spirit spoke to me expressly and said, Son, from this day you have entered wealth. Nothing happened immediately. Don't think my life changed. It was the same, same thing there. That was a seed. 
there are seeds that are called precious seeds he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return again rejoicing bringing in the sheaves I look back today and I just laugh I say my God what if I disobeyed that day what if I loved my yesterday more than my tomorrow like many of you now love your today more than tomorrow remember the Bible says for our light afflictions which is what for a moment it worketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory I remember a time when the Lord instructed me for 72 hours I locked myself praying non-stop my eyes did not see whether it was morning or afternoon or evening Ah, you are just lucky. Hallelujah. After that time, I said, Lord, wherever you want to use me, I'm available that you can use me for your glory. Those times, then there was no internet like this and it was a cafe. I would get a fluffy disc and go and I didn't have the money to pay and browse anytime I like. And then in the night, it seemed to, to browse faster. So I would go there in the night and spend night vigils downloading messages and teachings that will help me because I was desperate to grow. Not competition, not ministry, Jesus. There are two prayer points we are going to pray. My apologies for stretching a bit with the time. The first prayer is going to be the prayer of mercy. Please listen. There are many of us right now, if God were to leave your harvest based on the seeds you have sown, except you want to lie in the house of God, you know that you have sown to the flesh. Carnality, unseriousness, prayerlessness. It comes to be part of the whatsoever that can be sown. Jealousy, hatred, bitter envy, wordlessness, prayerlessness, laxity. When others were praying in the new year, you were just snoring your way into a new dangerous season that requires discernment. While men slept, the Bible says the enemy came. We are going to pray, standing upon the grace that is in this house, that Father, for every negative seed, that I have sown. I have despised the prophecy of the man of God. He has spoken over my life and I despised it. I obtained grace by the blood of Jesus. Let those negative seeds be destroyed. I do not want a harvest. Please pray. I do not desire a harvest. A future that is full of unnecessary battles. A future that is full of unnecessary battles let every seed that is not by the spirit and sown in the spirit i place a demand upon the blood someone is praying outside make sure you are praying just few minutes to maximize tonight. We are making spiritual investments. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. You sow to the flesh, you will of the flesh reap destruction. You sow to the spirit, you will of the spirit reap life everlasting. let the blood speak let the blood speak let the blood speak over the negative seeds the negative programmings hallelujah some of you have sown negative seeds by fighting your wife. The Bible tells you, you quarrel with your wife, there is no peace, your prayer will not be answered. Swallow your pride and pray. 
some of you have insulted your parents calling them names because you went to school negative seeds some of you have insulted men and women of God calling them all kinds of names some of you have insulted leadership within your time. I like you to pray. Let the blood speak. Oh God, I do not want a future that is full of pain. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. For in Jesus name we pray For in Jesus name we pray Aside from pastor and those in front If you kind of like you to find a neighbor Just pair yourselves in two you are going to pray this prayer. You are going to cry. Praying for yourself. Agreeing with your neighbor. Whoever you find. Whether two or three. You are going to decree and declare. Every seed. That you want to see soul. Of the spirit. A life of spiritual vibrancy. Character. Prayer. Obedience. I like you to begin to prophesy it into the life of the person whose hand you are holding. Pray from the depth of your heart father david's christian center remains a place of fire a place of the word a place of fellowship the breaking of bread the ministry of prayer sowing to the spirit sowing to the spirit is someone praying I declare over my brother I declare over my sister the grace to invest in your prayer life someone pray the grace to invest in your word study life giving yourself continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word giving yourself continually to corporate fellowship giving yourself continually to obedience giving yourself continually to fellowship with the spirit hallelujah 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 let me add one last prayer you are going to pray over yourself Lord, the grace to stay until my harvest comes. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible says in Acts 2.42, they continued steadfastly. Galatians 6.9 says we will reap in due season. You will not reap every day, but in due season. I will hold on through the storm. I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men The lifter of men This is a word for someone Will you hold on through the storm May not look like it But will you hold on to his word your life will soon reveal He's the lifter of men Lifter of men If you had seen some of us Maybe 17, 20 years ago We did not look like it Nothing of glory looks like it Until you stay 
please hear me somebody is about to give up on church right now someone is about to give up on the body of Christ someone is about to give up on the wife give up on the husband but this is my final word for you stay there is power in waiting please hold on through the storm will you hold on to his word your life will soon reveal he's the lifter of men the lifter of men i'm prophesying to you that will you hold on through the storm will you hold on to his word your story is about to change by the lifter of men I will hold on to your word I'll hold on through the pain My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Depth of your heart I believe that a cloud is about to shift over someone's life right now Just two prayer points These four forces The force of prayer the force of the word, discipleship and service, obtain grace to walk in them. You want to make maximum spiritual progress. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Are there people of prayer? Everywhere, inside, outside, following online, I'd like you to begin to pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. I obtain grace to pray my prayer life you jack back to life let the fire upon my prayer altar come alive come alive again someone is praying in the name of Jesus Christ I submit myself to the Word of God I submit to the authority of the word more than science more than logic more than philosophy the word of god becomes the framing point of my perceptions obtain grace to submit yourself to discipleship submit yourself beyond being a member of david's christian center submit yourself lord i will learn Thank you for Pastor Mildred. Thank you for her dear husband, Pastor Kingsley. I submit in the name of Jesus. I take them as pastors you have given me. I submit to wisdom. I submit to learning. I submit to rebuke. I submit to instructions. Now pray for the grace to serve especially they that serve in this house for some of you it's a fresh call to serve to serve the Lord sincerely thou shalt serve the Lord and he shall bless your bread and your water take sickness far from you you are a leader in this church I want you to begin to pray a renewed commitment to serve with my resources to serve with my heart to serve with my gift and my talent void of offense void of dishonor to serve To serve as a husband the grace to serve your family with diligence and responsibility as a wife and a mother the grace to serve your husband to serve your children as a leader the grace to serve not to lord over
Alléluia. 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 I want to speak over your life. When Moses came and met Pharaoh, he said, Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go that they may go and serve me. The purpose of going is to serve. If you are not going to serve, progress and motion is useless. Let my people go, not just to prove that I am God. So the more you make progress in life, it is because you have told God I'm ready to serve. The moment you sign up for service, you are ready for advancement. Fearful advancement. No wonder the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, that even though he was God in every way, he considered it not robbery to be God, but for the purpose of service, that he humbled himself, he became a man, then he humbled himself in obedience, and he died, even the death on the cross. Wherefore, because service always comes with lifting, wherefore God had so highly exalted him the bible says and had given him a name an office that is above every other name that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus is lord i want to stand in faith with pastor kingsley and his dear wife and to speak over your life the prophetic is very powerful don't get used to people making nonsense out of it. The prophetic can redefine and shift climates in your life. Hallelujah. Every word that you have received and every word prophetic decree that will be coming from this altar in the course of this year, can you have a renewed understanding about it? Sometimes it may be casual, but you can receive it. Lord, this is you speaking to me. We are made by prophecy. Ezra chapter 6, I think from 14, it says, and they, prof they prosper through the prophesying. The prophesyings of Zechariah the prophet, it says, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo, and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of God. God commanded it. While they were building, prophets were prophesying. It has been commanded that it's your year of flourishing. That is God's command. But now it must be prophesied upon you. It says they were building, but they prospered through the prophesying. And by a prophet, it says the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God who has shown us mercy and help. David's Christian Center, in the name of Jesus, I speak to you. Every door that has refused to open over your life and destiny, we command it open now. 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 Is there anyone in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Let me declare favor on someone. A stranger you did not know, they will be directed by my God to surprise you this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a master. We have toiled all night. For someone you kept toiling all through 2022. I place grace on your head. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Make progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you through rebellion and disobedience like Samson, you have lost your glory. But is there hope for a tree? The Bible says there is hope for a tree. Maybe you despise the prophets God put over you. Maybe you despise instructions. But I stand as a voice of mercy tonight and I declare, get back to the place of honor. The prodigal son, through pride and rebellion, he was now degraded to a point where he was feeding with swine. 
the Bible let us into his contemplation and he said how many hired servants has my father and I'm here feeding with the swine he said I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say unto him father I have sinned against you and against heaven and I am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your servants and while the father saw him afar off he hugged him kissed him restored the signet ring a sign of honor put a robe upon him I don't know what you lost through this honor there was a grace God was blanketing this ministry with yet it did not speak in your life because you despise your prophets in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace restore 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 in the name of Jesus Christ For someone who has been crying let me speak to you weep not it is over in the name of Jesus Christ I'm wrapping up can I pray for your spiritual life every attack on your prayer life that has made your prayer life become zero fasting zero commitment for spiritual things there were some of you you were people who loved God but right now your life has gone haywire bad friends bad associations and you say it does not matter in the name of jesus be delivered now from the company of wicked and unreasonable people be delivered now the grace to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication i release upon your life now the spirit of revelation according to Ephesians 1 from verse 15 to 20 may that grace come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for your finances please don't say it does not matter it is not lack of wisdom it is, not, it is completely lack of wisdom to say it does not matter don't join people who downplay the role that finances has to play in your life most people have compromised because of this finance thing are we together there are people who love God walking in the dignity of kingdom integrity Satan tried every other means and they did not fall but he used this money thing and they fell like a pack of cards it's not enough to say don't do this don't go there we must be able to speak over your life I hope you know that there is a dimension of prosperity that comes through prophecy yes sir it's not a license for laziness be valuable turn your value to products and services serve it to a targeted consumer base but at the back of your mind remember that there is a prophetic dimension to wealth the prophet said by this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus everything that should have entered your heart but was hijacked by demonic forces I stand by the God of heaven please hear me between now and the end of January I stand by the God who called me may my God surprise you now and January ending January may my God surprise may my God surprise you may my God surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Go ahead and pray in the spirit for a minute or two. Shapako sata branda gebeleko shata fraska debeleko. Shapra de gebareto skavrate shalakato branda sedebelekato. Someone is praying all across the globe. Please pray. Following by way of television internet and all our social media platforms connecting the spirit right now 
Sayer of open doors. Shaprakatoska de Brenda Gebele Kotosia. Pray and say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Lord, I believe. I believe your word. Someone is praying. Declare that I believe. I believe your word. It shall be unto me according to your speakings. In the name of Jesus, it shall be unto me according to your word. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Now, I want you to begin to call every month by name and declare it open. Every month, a fata, January, be open. February, be open. Is someone praying? Open your mouth down to December. January, be open. In the name of Jesus. February, be open. March, be open. April, be open. May, be open. June, be open. July, be open. August, be open. September, be open. October, be open. November, be open. December, be open. 2023, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. I decree and declare every month. Be open. Deliver that which is locked up within you. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud and clear. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that in this year of open doors, I prophesy over my life and destiny. All doors open. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Decree and declare. Mention every door you know. Command it to open. All doors. All doors. Marital doors. Financial doors. Ministerial doors. Business doors. Health doors. The door of your mind. The doors to your influence. The doors of kingdom service. The doors to greater anointing. The doors to revelation. Someone is praying. All doors open. All doors open. All doors open. All doors open. Someone is praying. All doors open. All doors open in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. All doors, all doors, all doors. I insist, all doors. Someone insists in a place of prayer, all doors. Outside, all the overflows. Make sure you are praying. Zaria, make sure you are praying. 
our global family, all who are connected, pray all doors open, all doors open. open hallelujah hallelujah now hear me please hear me I'm going to lead you to make a declaration the moment you make that declaration you are liberty if you want to turn to the east the south the west because we are going to speak to all the the prophetic regions the four corner regions he said son of man prophesy to the four winds not one wind not one direction four is the number of balance and stability you are going to declare whether it's the north south east and west in the name of jesus everywhere this door is i prophesy to those directions you must open say in jesus name i decree and declare northern doors Southern doors, Eastern doors, Western doors, hear ye the word of the Lord. Be open now. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Declare over every region, spiritually and geographically. Someone is stretching your hands to the north. You are declaring by the Spirit. Northern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Southern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Eastern doors, hear the word of the Lord. Western doors, even in the spirit, Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Prophesy. Be open. The four winds breathe upon this land in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Let the winds be open. Let the doors be open. in jesus name i pray shout this say every spirit stand in my way as a closed door i decree and declare the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray every spirit Every hindrance that stands as a spirit, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you for a great door and an effectual is open up to me. But many are the adversaries. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Spirits of delay, backwardness, retrogression, failure at the edge of breakthrough. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to prophesy over your hands and your feet. Listen. You see, the hands and the feet are two mysteries in the Bible. When they caught Peter, they did not tie his eyes. They tied his hands 
and his feet because these are your instruments for movement and motion when you tie a man's hand and you tie a man's feet you have tied his ability to be strong and demonstrate strength and also his ability to make progress you are going to pray over the works of your hands and pray over your feet listen the bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord that you are not going to do one leg forward and 10 steps backward and you are going to pray whatever has made the works of your hands to keep recycling shame and pain you are going to cause it right now is someone ready to pray say in the name of jesus my hands you carry the blessing upon you my feet you carry the blessing upon you therefore i release you for my progress open your mouth and begin to pray your hands as a preacher as a businessman as a politician as a career person i prophesy my hands my feet will lead me to progress by the spirit of the living god i go forward not around i go forward i go forward every step being a greater one someone declare declare Forward, forward. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be tired of praying. We are activating this grace. In Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray do you believe in prosperity because we are going to pray now and ask that the door that is restricting you from entering the place God has earmarked for your blessing believe me when I tell you until he says thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we we went through fire and through water but thou causes us to come into a wealthy place i can tell you when the blessing is not manifested in your life as prosperity it will interrupt many useful things in your life poverty can be a door that stops you from going forward many great things you want to build you want to make progress some of you want to partner with the house of god like never before but this demon spirit of poverty there are many conferences many outreaches many things to do for the kingdom there are many pastors in ministry they are limited they are owing they are in debt there are many business people some of you what you used to do before in terms of blessing others you no longer can do it that door must be cleared out of the way it takes more than a good heart to be a blessing remember your commitment number four that you will be a blessing this year believe me it takes resources you've heard me say the name of jesus is heavy it takes resources to lift it up for the nations to see if you are going to live a life of integrity and dignity and decorum especially as a minister of the gospel that you are not playing pranks and manipulating people you will need to access the supplies of heaven someone say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. Financial, doors financial doors open open. Op open up your mouth and pray financial doors open ideas insights access to light doors of value open doors of strategic relationships open 
strategic relationships open strategic relationships open strategic relationships open someone is praying strategic relationships open financial doors open financial doors open hallelujah listen hear me believers let me tell you the truth right from day one in this ministry i'm not ashamed i'm not one of those preachers that play games over i hate poverty it is clear i will never like it i will never teach it i will never endorse it i know the destructive effect of not having economic power to a people to a territory to a nation you you embrace a life of poverty and mediocrity no matter the spiritual explanation you're on your way to not doing much for the kingdom what we manage is lost and exiting Christ out of your pursuit for wealth when your pursuit for wealth becomes a, an appetite for the gratification of the flesh it compromises on your spiritual life your passion for God and it is not used as a tool to reveal him now we will frown at that but not that resources please don't there are many of you your children need to get out of some schools into other schools if you mean well for their future are we together you send your child to a school he returns back as if he's a demon asking you questions that even as an adult you cannot sleep but it takes resources there are many people today who cannot lead many to Jesus because the resources are not there. I vowed a vow that I will never lead the people who are only spiritual. I believe in the power of influence. And you cannot be around the corridors of influence being poor. Settle it once and for all that poverty is of the devil. If you love Jesus and you love his purposes, you will embrace the blessings of the Lord. We are very outspoken about Jesus being exalted above everything. But please hear me, Africa. Let's be delivered from this demon that has kept us and wrapped up through the guise of religion to keep people poor. And then at the same time, advocating prosperity from a a standpoint that does not glorify Jesus, a standpoint that is a marketing of the flesh that leads people to stealing, killing, and destroying, all to prove that their faith is working. This is not what I'm saying. That is absolute nonsense. We are teaching wealth and increase with a heart that is stayed on God and prosperity in your hand that has a mission. This is what we are advocating. But as for poverty, you will not find it here till Jesus comes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two more prayer points. Are you tired? Please. You are going to pray that the doors of strategic and prophetic relationships be opened. Listen, listen, listen. In Luke 11, when the man was in trouble, he went to his friend's house. You don't go to an enemy's house to ask for help. That means you have to first have a friend before that friend can help you. Is that true? There are many of us who are suffering alone as if you were exempted from any from the death you know the sacrifice of jesus simply because you have not mastered the art of trusting great and valuable relationships this is the year where god has to connect you strategically to people all blessings come from god through men to men my friend I have had some visitors even though it's late please can you bend over backwards for my sake there is a friend that stick it closer than a brother let me tell you we live in days now where it is only God that can bring men to you by the time you use your eyes and your brain you are going to spend your life recycling pain you need to pray and say father I don't know what door is closing my 
strategic relationships that includes destiny helpers and i've taught you that there are four kinds of destiny helpers never forget number one divine connectors number two men and women of influence number three gifted men number four burden bearers you need these four people in your life say in the name of jesus shout it again say in the name of jesus father i decree and i declare that the doors of strategic destiny relationships be open up to me open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray someone is praying strategic relationships strategic relationships business relationships ministry relationships marital relationships career relationships someone pray there are relationships that if and when introduced to your life can become the ladder that elevates you to heights unimagined when Jonah entered a boat, people lost their properties and almost lost their lives. When Jesus entered a boat, they were preserved. Pray! Doors of relationships be open. Doors of relationships be open. Strategic relationships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have one more prayer, but it just occurred to me now that when we pray that one prayer, I'll add one more. We have to pray for Nigeria. We have to pray for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Growing up, we we're made to sing the national anthem and the national pledge. And we said many powerful things in those anthems that burnt in our hearts. Today, we have many people who do not understand the value and the power of nationhood. Thank God for very visionary leaders and people who are, you know, making these great contributions to help build a sense of leadership and decorum. It is the assignment, listen to me, it is the assignment of the church to pray that any nation they find themselves, he said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are going to pray. Elections are by the corner. We are only weeks away. And as it has been before now, every time is the moment of election, you find deaths, all kinds of things. I don't care who comes into power. If people die, it's not worth it. We have to first pray that God will preserve lives. Nobody who comes into power has the power to bring, to bring the breadwinner of a woman whose son, if the woman, the widow at Nain had lost her husband and now her only son had died. She didn't care whether it was Jesus who was coming, she was mourning until Jesus came and solved her problem. Listen to me. We have, we hopefully by the miracle service will take more time to pray, but the pride don't do politics i don't do partisan politics there are people in every party in this in koinonia and fatherhood is your father to everybody i prayed for people across every party even some i don't even know they existed i still prayed that's my job are we together now but i will tell you this listen carefully listen carefully please we are going to pray we have to pray for three things number one that god will help us and that his will will be done for this nation we are tired of a lot of rubbish and nonsense in this nation. Are we together? Number two, this is my personal observation, and I'm saying this to the body of Christ. Our emphasis seems to have been only on presidency. We are making a big mistake. No, there is no single president without the support of visionary governors, house members who can do well. That the illusion that it doesn't matter who comes into power, Nigeria will magically change is a joke. 
Nigeria is a democracy, it's a composite. There are 774 local governments, every one of them manned by leaders. And I can tell you, even if Lot is a good man, if he's surrounded by a place like Sodom and Gomorrah, he will still be ineffective. So the prayer, our attention seems to be on only the presidency. And I understand the dynamics of politics. I'm a Nigerian. But then we must extend our prayer to all the 36 states, all the senatorial zones, the, you know, the local governments and all of that, down to the councillor. If a councillor is a thief, he has contributed to the, pro the trouble in this, in this nation. Don't say what is told is small. Stealing is still stealing. Are we together? Yes. Now, I'm saying this on air and I'm being very careful. I'm not, I have profound respect for the body of Christ and all the voices across the body of Christ, but I want you to listen to this. Please listen. And there's a reason why I'm saying this. I've seen many things about the election. Ethically, I don't come out to just, I respect God, I respect this ministry, and I respect myself too. Are we together? But I can tell you, there are two warnings, and I want you to quote me. I saw this in a vision. Media houses, be careful. This is one of the things I saw in my vision. I've prayed over it, but I saw serious problem coming because of mismanagement of commu effective communication across media houses, both social media and this. Let us be careful, and my encouragement to media people is act with no prejudices and biases and with the highest level of professionalism um, available for the sake of the citizens. I believe that people have their personal bi biases and, and, and everybody is allowed to do so, but there are mistakes that the media has been making for a long time and it's not brought a national repercussion, but I fear that if we do not take out time and those who head media houses, if there are any here, I know we have one or two, it's my word of caution lovingly to you and then across the body of Christ. Media houses, let us be careful because what I saw was a problem that evolved from media. Praise God. Ask is to pray, but media, we have to be careful what we report. I believe there are systems and structures that govern mass communication. And as much as possible, I'm lending my voice on behalf of many who mean well for this nation to see that we do the needful with wisdom and intelligence. And that also means that those who man several social media platforms, whether personal or corporate, we must be able to fear God and love this nation more than the ability to drive traffic to our personal pages. Don't just sell conflict and sell nonsense because you are desperate for traffic and you do not care the repercussion that comes from people. Are we together? If you cause somebody pain and you make gain from it, you will not sleep well. It's a law. Are we together? So I'm saying this, I, I owe it to make my own contribution as much as God has granted grace. Authority has jurisdiction. We have fathers of faith in this nation. And I'm a man of God, but we have been trained enough to have spiritual intelligence. There are things that is not us that will speak. The fathers have a voice that is greater than us. Let them do the speaking. Us as sons is to make our own contribution as much as possible. And this is something men of God need to learn. I'm saying it to especially my generation of men of God. Don't think just because you saw and heard, you come and stand and speak. In every house, there is authority structure. Even among the demons, it was one person who spoke on behalf of the rest. Let's behave ourselves in the body of Christ so we do not make a fool out of the anointing. Now we owe a duty, everybody owes a duty to communicate whatever he heard and saw. But when you are speaking, I told you that influence is a very delicate commodity. You can use it to destroy people. Let us try, let's show the body of Christ and our nation that as men of God we were trained. Let's not come out like people from the wilderness with no decorum. It is not everything you see that you say. There are, the Bible says Mary kept these things to herself. The ability to keep things because according to scripture, it says a word spoken in due season. There is a due season for every word. So I'm encouraging you, respectfully speaking, 
fellow colleagues, you know, and, and different co-laborers in the vineyard, let us manage especially communication of prophecies. I by no means devalue or I'll bring disdain to any man of God communicating any prophetic word. No, I am for the body of Christ. I hold every man of God as much as God grants grace in the esteem that is due their grace and the anointing. But this, I am saying it that we need to learn. Let us be contributors to nation building and not destroyed because of the, the itch to show we are accurate. The desire to have a nation that is built with intelligence and godliness should be greater than a man of God trying to show that he is great. Are we together? Let's pray for Nigeria. Please rise up on your feet. Mm. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. We, decree we decree and declare over Nigeria. Over Nigeria. We, declare peace. we declare peace. We declare tranquility. We declare and we declare that the election will be violence free. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Peace, tranquility, violence-free election. That if there are any plans for bloodshed, to waste lives and destinies, we pray in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus will speak against demonic forces that may want to walk against the well-being of Nigerians. We pray for all Nigerians, Christians, Muslims, traditionalists. In the name of Jesus, we pray all together. There must be peace in this nation. And as touching the election, we declare that the purposes of God will be established over our nation. We desire progress. We desire advancement in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Pray for the presidential election. Pray for the gubernatorial election. Pray for the Senate. Pray for the House of Assembly. You know, counsel us all of the, the tears of government. Let's pray that God himself will bring people into this nation on seat and on board that will drive this nation to a place of prosperity, unity, peace, and progress. Like our national anthem says, that the labor of our heroes past should not be in vain. Free from violence, we pray and we declare over the six geopolitical zones, there must be peace in this nation no bloodshed no killing no violence no destruction of lives and property in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now in the last prayer point we are going to pray for koinonia this is a ministry that we are all part of this is not one man's ministry and we're participating no koinonia is everybody's business and everybody's concern Hallelujah. I told you that in this ministry, there are no fans. Uh -uh. Fans don't have an inheritance. It is people who connect. We may be far and wide across the many nations and continents, but love, covenant, and understanding has bound us together as a global family. While it is true that we are sent to the body of Christ, but it is fair that we look inwards and pray for this, our Jerusalem. You are going to pray for Koinonia right now, whether you are watching from Europe, you are watching from America, from across Africa. This is a gift that God gave to the nations, even at such a time as this. We are going to pray and cry. Father, the, the fire of revival, salvation, transformation, miracles, signs and wonders, it will never go down in this ministry. Open your mouth and please pray. Pray like you are praying for yourself. Pray like you are praying for your children. Pray like you are praying for that which God committed to your hands. You are part of this vision. Make sure you pray.
Father, high level spirituality. This will be a place where spiritual men are made, mentored, taught doctrine, guided by the spirit. This is a ministry that will continue to function by the influence of the spirit. This is Bethel, the place of bread, the place of the word. This remains a place of excellence, a place of character in the name of Jesus. A place of the manifestation of the power of God in unprecedented dimensions. To heal, to deliver, to set free in the name of Jesus. The fire of revival from this house will engulf the nations of the earth. And we declare all the meetings this year, the koinonia meetings, the apostolic and prophetic meetings across this nation, across the African nations and the continents of the earth. In the name of Jesus, there are moments of encounter, moments of salvation, moments of transformation. We will bring healing to governments, healing to nations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray over the teachings that in the name of Jesus, they are anointed afresh. The teachings will mentor kings. The teaching will mentor nations. The teachings will be tools for revival, tools for healing, transformation. Many will come to Jesus through these teachings. Pray for all the sons and daughters in ministry connected to this vision. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. In the name of Jesus, they are excelling. Pray for all the fathers that bless and speak over this ministry. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will keep and preserve them for our sake. To keep speaking over our lives as we rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for all the businesses in this ministry. They will not fail. Pray for all the organizations in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke to Peter and said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, he says, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. We have prayed for koinonia. The meaning of that is that everything in your life, because you are part of this vision, everything must answer to that prayer. Amen. Koinonia cannot go up and you go down. Koinonia cannot go forward and you go backward. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus we all rise together in the name of Jesus we all shine together in the name of Jesus we all reveal Jesus together for in the mighty name of Jesus we pray so I welcome you to 2023 the year mountain you will climb coming after me and pray from the depth of your heart give me an encounter tonight like the precious woman of God charged our hearts already I obtain grace to be intentional I obtain grace to be a receiver I receive grace to be a discerner 
Someone is praying. The day that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Now you can stretch it too for the next five minutes. I just want us to pray in the spirit. Pay attention. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is flourishing. You're praying to align your spirit. Go ahead and pray. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Connecting online. Make sure you are praying. Salege breke peratuski abaka prande ge peratu shalaka prahas kadia. Shabre dege baka tapara kata pras kade belaga dosh. Prande baka dosh salige pras kabarya na balaga toks. Shabre ge baka de peratuski ata. Just five minutes stretching in the spirit. You are enlarging your capacity. Manda prate ge parige dosko to prande ge belaga dosi ata. Shakata preta ke pere ke te balata bakata bros ka te bela dos. Sopres ka pera dos sopre da para sopre de pere dos kali ka pa. Shakre te ke te pere ke te pras ka te bela ka dos. Manta prata ka para ka te para te ke te bela ke te pere ka dos. Shkada prata ska te bela ka te bela ka ka dos ka prata ke pas. Manta praka ta para ta ka ta frente ke pere to ka sopre te ke dis. Imbrata barato so segete belegeta priakata. A few more minutes. You are praying now. Perekato skaliga bras keberianta kashkala barusiata. Shabres kaberete belega bas sopra diga balata. Is someone praying? Let your eyes be fixed on Jesus. Alige prende ke para katos kala greke peretisa. Kembra ka para katos koto prende ke belega pras ka variata. Enta pras ka para ka pas kala greke perega de pras ka dialada. Sale prende ska de prende ke para ka pratus ka tiana para dubas. Legreti para tus tiada prata ka pradiaba. One more minute, you are stretching in the spirit. Imbrata parata kaskata brenda gade shabri te paratos koto parusiata. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh, yes, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, in this year of flourishing, forever Yahweh, lift your voice, lift your hands, we look to Yahweh.
as a point of contact to every architect here this is by the revelation of the spirit I declare anyone here you are an architect and it looks like your hands are tied down no doors opening I decree and declare receive grace to go forward 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and for the ladies that I asked to come out I can't remember what name did I call again Justina in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for you who is pregnant hold on hold on hold on bring that lady shouting Palashaka Sopa Rosiata no baby will die in anybody's stomach in the name of Jesus please don't come out I hope you are very fine mama is pregnant protocol you people should you know your huh? is she pregnant okay hallelujah when we make calls like this is important let's verify those who are coming so that Will make it easy there's a lot to be done i'm saying it again there's there's someone i need to pray i know there are, you can imagine a crowd like this there are many people who are pregnant but i need to pray because the person i'm talking about you've been seeing dead people in your vision you you sleep and you keep seeing dead people i want to pray because i'm seeing an attack on your baby an attack on your baby that you wake up one morning and just find out that there's no movement again and they will tell you you're pregnant I want to pray for you I'm not saying you want to be pregnant we'll, we'll pray about that one I want to pray for you when are you due the, the EDT they're giving me is March March first March you believe in Jesus yes sir. place your hand on your stomach father in the name of Jesus, she will not lose the baby. Yeah. I'm not a prophet of doom, man. Eh? Don't be afraid. Or oh, her husband, don't worry. This is God just speaking to seal this. All these children are koinonia children, and we, we already received them by faith. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm praying for all those who have come here with children. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, any attack on your children... Help them please so they don't fall with it. Any attack on any child here by divination or projections in the name of Jesus, let it be cancelled right now. 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 Hear me. And any manifestation where you have to choose whether it's the baby or the mother that will leave, we cancel it also. We cancel it also. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to scripture, delivery of children is not a cause. It is a blessing. Whatever wants to make it a cause, we rebuke it right now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone at the back. I'm seeing the power of God. Um, the power of God is going to come upon someone at the back. I'm looking in the spirit and the, and the Lord is saying I should cancel that statement like father, like son. These are demonic patterns, evil things that happen to people at the back, close to the AC, where there's AC, close to it. I'm seeing the power of God touch someone there. 
please don't be tired this is a miracle service someone open your mouth and begin to pray that everything that is not of God must leave my destiny everyone please open your mouth and pray the Bible says everything you ask in prayer believing you will receive open your mouth and pray hallelujah 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 i'm hearing a name moses you can imagine that there are many people who have that name but i'm hearing the name moses moses god is asking me to pray for moses who is regina regina you are at the back regina is there someone like that? Ron, come. Your time of visitation has come. Who is Regina? <laughs> Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. The Lord says I should tell you shame and reproach is rolled away from your life today. Shame and reproach is rolled away out of you in the name of Jesus. Shame and reproach is rolled away. As I've spoken to her, let me speak over someone. I don't know what embargo of shame has been put over your life. In the name of Jesus, let it be rolled away from your life now. Let it be rolled away from your life now. Moses. Now, I may not want to embarrass you, please. But there is one of you you need to be careful. Because your friends are Yahoo boys and they are about to arrest you. Listen carefully. This is a word of, I'm not a prophet of doom. Be careful. These boys that go around scamming people and police are haunting them if you are not careful you can be good but if you are in the midst of wicked people you are wicked too are we together now yes so this is an advice generally it's not your personal conscience is not the only issue you must protect your environment to reflect your convictions hallelujah you are a roommate or you are a, 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 a sharing the same room with a thief or an arm robber get out of that place because when they come to arrest him, you are still a convict until proven otherwise. Moses, let me pray for you now. The power of God is coming on two of you. And the Lord is saying it's a change of story. A strong anointing is coming on two of you. In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ one of you who came out here is going to be a mighty man of God I'm seeing an anointing I don't know who that person is but I release that grace let that fire rest upon you now let that fire rest upon you now let that fire rest upon you now may you be a mighty vessel in the hand of God a mighty vessel in the hand of God in the name of Jesus, everything that happened to those before you, that is about to happen to you, I cancel it right now. I cancel it right now. Should I say this now? Please forgive me. I don't want you to feel bad. Don't feel if, if but I'm, I'm just having to do this because God instructed me. That you are here and you have had nine miscarriages I'm seeing the number nine nine miscarriages I'm going to pray for people but if there is someone like that please don't be embarrassed I ordinarily would not do that except that God put it in my heart nine miscarriages again and again I don't know spanning to how many years please if you find such a person whether you are inside or outside allow the person come God wants me to minister to you right now. 
God wants you to minister in the name of Jesus you return ha. take it higher for me I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to Nasarawa state there is an anointing people from that if you are here and you are from that region the power of God is going to begin to rest upon you bring them out here in the name of Jesus there is I'm seeing there is a covenant that God is saying must be broken must be broken I don't know in the name of Jesus Christ every embargo that has held anyone belonging to that region I declare it broken right now I declare it broken right now I declare it broken right now see I don't know why God does these things but sometimes I just see the map of Nigeria and I see a hand just pointing a particular region and usually when I mention that region the power of God begins to touch people who come from that region is a sign and a wonder a manifestation of God's grace and power I'm still going to pray that prayer one more time again before we now begin the deliverance proper I hope someone is receiving already Nasarawa state ancient covenants that have tied people down that says they will not rise that says they would not rise I'm seeing a sword please if someone is under the anointing I want you to quickly bring them out father in the name of Jesus anyone who belongs or is connected to that region right now in the name of Jesus let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a lady that God wants to deliver bring them out you will be surprised what will happen to these people right now I'm seeing a lady you keep having dreams breastfeeding children and this thing has affected you it, you've even started feeling physical pain like you know a medical condition I don't know who that person is but in Jesus name every covenant that has tied you and brought your destiny down everyone but particularly this is a lady God is showing me I declare by the fire of the Holy Ghost let it be broken now let it be broken now is there someone who is Modupe a name that I'm hearing a name like that when you find someone with that name please let me pray for the person that should be a Yoruba name you find someone with that name please let me pray for the person Modupe, I'm hearing that name. That's your name? Hmm. Is it Sylvester? 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 I presume that's someone's name. Sylvester. I'm hearing that name. Sylvester. Sylvester where are you from my dear Edo State. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus you will not cry this year yeah. where are your parents I'm not prophesying do mayor but in Jesus name we declare nothing will cut short their lives yeah. you believe that I stretch my hands I use as a point of contact to anyone here that any spirit that wants to cut short the life of any of your parents whether using accidents or using sickness we declare here that by this miracle service it is cancelled right now <laughs> Sylvester that's your name that's your name sir what do you do?
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Sylvester. I don't know what has tied your right hand. The right hand is a hand of power. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be released right now. Yeah. Whatever has tied your hand, my God, I'm seeing something like a chain just cutting from the hand. The hand is an instrument of progress. Productivity happens by the hand. Whatever has tied your hand, at what God says to one, he's saying to everybody, I declare if anything has tied your hand, action without progress, I declare be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it finally. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, Sylvester, you are an usher. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Huh? While I was praying, I saw light on you. God is raising you to become a light in your family. Yes. Hear what I'm telling you. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. The anointing that lifts a man and causes him to be a deliverer over his family, may that grace rest upon you right now. May that grace rest upon you right now. May that grace rest upon you right now. I prayed for him. But I'm going to pray this same prayer. There will be many impartations now. There are many of you who, by destiny, the hand of destiny is upon you to be the one who God will use for your family. Some of you do not even know. As many who are here, who have been appointed to be the ones who will be used by God to wipe the tears of your family, may the mantle, May the mantle of a deliverer rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Male or female, rest upon you now. Everyone destined by God to be the instrument that God will lift to wipe the tears of your family. I prophesy to you, arise. Arise from the shadows and step into the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Step into the place of destiny. Step into the place of destiny. Because if you do not arise, many who are connected to you, especially by bloodline, may not be able to rise. And any embargo that is stopping you from rising, every door that has closed, that has closed over you, so that you will not pass, and so that your loved ones will not pass, may that door open now. 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 Hallelujah. Have you found a lady? Nine miscarriages. Are you married? I hope you're not embarrassed. No, no, sir. How long have you been married? Five years, sir. Five years. Nine miscarriages. Yes, sir. Is your husband here? No, sir. You believe in the power of God? Do you have children? Yes, no, sir. You don't have any children? Yes, sir. Place your hand on your stomach. God gave a particular word for you. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? Yes, sir. I stretch my hands towards you. This devil of darkness that has plagued you with nine miscarriages within five years. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you that that spirit lives your life now, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command, let her go. Every legal access you have over her body is hereby broken, broken, broken by the power of God, broken now, broken now. And I declare to you, according to the time of life, by the power of the prophetic, go and return with your miracle children. Go and return with your miracle children. Go and return with your miracle children. So shall it be. You see, let me tell you, many of these conditions you see, I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor, but many of these conditions, like you see what is happening to this precious woman, is demonic is demonic nine miscarriages cannot be the will of god are we together now
Let an end come right now. Let an end come right now. Why is she here? She, she's also trusting God for... I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. Uh, um, you may not have the time to minister and lay hands on people trusting God for the womb, fruit of the womb. But you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You must carry your children this year. In the name of Jesus. You must carry your children this year. Lay your hands. Are you married? Yes, sir. Please lay your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, for your glory and for your grace, this woman has cried, and in the name that is above all names, let your womb as a door be open for children right now. Be open for children right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be open for children right now. According to the time of life, you return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Please return back to your seat. Demons are real. They plague people. They oppress destinies. They sit on people's destinies and don't allow people to make progress. But the Bible says, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Is that true? It says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I'm about to pray for you now. You know why I minister deliverance? Because demon spirits walk, you know how an octopus is? With many, many hands. It can touch several aspects of your life, but it is the same spirit. Oppressing finances, touching issues here. And rather than dealing with these issues one by one, it is important that the spirit that is back of it must be casted out by the, by the spirit of the living God. And that's what I'm about to do. I want you to open up your heart and connect. Some of you have come here hungry. Some of you have come here confused, asking, why is my life like this? It looks like doors are not opening. You are about to know now that there are spirits sitting at the gates of your destiny, not allowing you to rise. I'm about to pray for you. For the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. It says, then it says, the sons of Jacob shall possess. There is no possession without deliverance. There is no possession when that which impedes your receiving is taken away. Now, please, it's going to be a very quick one, whether you are an usher or not. The moment the power of God comes upon someone as I speak, please do well to have them come to the front or wherever it is, especially for those who are outside all the overflows. We'll do this very quickly right now. Father, we give you praise because you are the deliverer, the one who sets us free. There are wicked spirits that have sat on people's lives and destinies masquerading as problems. But in the name of Jesus, begin to bring them out, please. I declare and decree by this anointing of the Spirit of God, at the count of three, you're going to shout that name that is above all names. The name that has been exalted above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not only in this world but even that which is to come. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, at the count of three, every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies, masquerading as physical problems, you must go right now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus, let them go. Release their destinies. 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 Right now, outside, inside, everywhere. I decree and declare. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please bring them out very quickly. Release their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I tell you, fire is falling in this place. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare, we are still praying. Every family that is under demonic siege, kept in one place, no movement, no progress. Right now, the anointing of the spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families. Are you ready to shout Jesus again? Lord, every family under attack, we bring the spirits behind it under arrest. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Release the families now. Release the families now. Release the families now. Release the destinies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to declare your release. Open your mouth and begin to declare. By the blood of the eternal covenant. I declare liberty for my life. Liberty for my family. Liberty. Liberty, liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and He's saying, Remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a mark of disfavor around you. That even when you go where you should be blessed, it looks like you are despised. I don't know who I'm praying for, but fire is coming on someone now. In the name of Apakatos Katapata, every mark of disfavor at the count of three, that mark must let you go now. One, two, three. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. Be removed from your life. Be removed from your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Carry out this favor. Marital disfavor. Financial disfavor. Be removed from your life. Abracatoshka leberedo da koto parato siata. Kafrenda vasa zeketa bele koto Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you are not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people, it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you? By the power of the Holy Ghost, I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. From it now, be delivered from it now, be delivered from it now, be delivered from it now. (laughs) 
It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. Hallelujah. Now hear me please, pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead. Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases, all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing. It doesn't mean every dead face. Of course, there are spirits of just men made perfect. But it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death. Let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege. You have been having dreams of dead people calling you. You have no business. Listen, the living and the dead have nothing in common. I pray for you by the fire that is of the Holy Ghost. Oh death, oh death, oh death, oh death. Oh death. Oh death. Release the families now. Release God's people now. Oh grave, take your hands away from their destinies. Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all those in front here, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirits that oppress you, I command them to leave you now. I command them to leave you now. I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus. There is a family here. God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies. There is a spirit that never allowed the ladies, I'm seeing the ladies to move forward. Even when they settle down, they must return back to their husband's homes. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is telling me the ladies, it is like the, 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 the female part of the family. I command that spirit because you came here tonight. I don't care how long that covenant has stayed. It is hereby broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Please help them at the back. Broken now. Hallelujah. Broken by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now. And then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it. When it has to do with responsibility and provision, the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there. I decree and declare that demonic anomaly, we exchange it back to its proper place. We exchange it back to its proper place. Hear me? Hear me? Any man here that is not able to cater for your family, by the anointing of the Spirit, I empower your hand to be productive. I empower your hand to be productive. The honor and the dignity that comes with being a man, let it speak in your life. And I pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order. In the name of Jesus, for your sake, may God empower your husband. For your sake, may God empower the man in your life. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing someone what we call skin disease. You have some serious, I don't know what it is that is affecting your skin, quite an embarrassing condition. The Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to be praying for the sick right now. I believe in the healing ministry. 
a skin problem something just eating up your skin bring this lady for me tap this girl going back my dear come I want to pray for you where are you from in the name of Jesus look at me I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit where those who have gone ahead of you where they could not reach in the name of Jesus I place an anointing upon you you will get there and surpass it by the Spirit you will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit I say it again you will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit in the name of Jesus please return back to your seat listen provided you are under this grace you must rise in the name of Jesus Christ by all means you must rise let's pray for the sick terminal diseases I want to start my prayer by praying for those with hepatitis listen there is a reason why sometimes God puts these names it's not just a story to mention and make it look serious I, I honestly have not studied the consequences of hepatitis I don't know what it really does I just know it's not a good thing and that is more than enough to cast it out of anybody who has it listen place your hand where you are trusting God for healing those of you who came with sick people now is the time to reach out to them and those who are connecting for the sick or you are sick yourself I'm about to pray for you I believe in the healing power of Jesus I tell you there is such a strong healing anointing why do we pray for the sick I have taught you that sickness is a portion of death being ministered to you because there is a threshold level of health your body must have for your spirit to remain in it and if your body becomes deteriorated beyond that threshold point your spirit will be forced to live in what you call death now it is not the living of the spirit that is a problem but when you are done with your assignment and it lives with honor and nobility that is fine we call it a good old age but where the devil wants to bring it as a strategy to end your life because you see if you do not have a functional body your spirit has no legitimate ground to remain in the earth for you to be able to dwell in the earth legitimately you must be a spirit and you must have a healthy functional body so every time the Lord ministers to the sick it is his determination to keep you in health and to promote longevity in your life don't tolerate any sickness in your body we thank God for all our doctors our medical team we have a brilliant medical team that is, is doing well you know and I have taught you again that doctors and medical people are not anti-faith we have taught for many years that you either choose doctors or choose the power of God no no even Jesus is called the great physician not only the great healer the great physician so I'm going to pray for you now here's what I want you to do very quickly as soon as I pray for you some of you whilst you were under the anointing having all kinds of experiences many supernatural things have happened to you when we take testimonies by the way it's not just testimonies for healing alone there are those who whilst ministering deliverance and ministering all kinds of things visible changes supernatural manifestations have happened when it is time to take testimonies you quickly run out and join those who are healed hallelujah now when i pray for you here's your own part of the your own part of the faith equation you believe and you receive by faith then when i tell you to you check yourself you do what you couldn't do the moment you found out that there is a miracle, a miracle has happened whether you are in the overflow outside or any of the overflows down to the basement or in the main auditorium or following online. Remember, our global family, you are, you are participating fully in every way. Make sure that we know what has happened to you. We're going to take a few testimonies and then we'll pray over the request and make prophetic declarations tonight. 
So let your hearts be open. Do not allow yourself to return back with terminal diseases, demonic illnesses. You hear the story of the mama that was brought here? Just her eyes began to swell and all kinds of satanic things. Lay your hands and let's trust God for healing. Jesus, a healer. It is true that he heals. I know you are here. Healing in your glory. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. I know you are here. You are here to take us higher. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you gave us the ability to pray for the sick. And you said that as we minister to them, they will recover. There are many people right now who have all kinds of terminal diseases, demonic conditions. In the name of Jesus, the one who sent us, I declare that every spirit of infirmity that is behind any health condition, right now let that spirit be gone forever. Mm. Right now let that spirit be gone forever. Let that spirit be gone forever. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now, every sick body from the crown of your head down to the, ah, my God. As I just said from the crown of your head, I just felt a surge of power, just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body, bringing cleansing, cleansing 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 of every demonic thing right now be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name hepatitis in the name of jesus be healed of it now hiv be healed now cancer be healed now. I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance. I don't know who has that condition, but the power of God is touching you right now. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Hormonal imbalance. Be healed now. Deaf ears, whether total deafness or partial deafness, be opened in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes. Be opened now in the name of Jesus. Anybody here who could not walk. You came and you could not walk. Using an aid in the name of Jesus. I empower your limbs begin to walk now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kidney problems. I'm hearing in the spirit. Help them. Kidney problems. Be healed right now. There's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node around your, your lower abdominal area and it refused to go. In the name of Jesus, I command that growth. Let it disappear now. I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue. I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked. This is what I'm seeing. It's like the tongue is, you know how it's like you're shredding something. I don't know what condition that is. But in the name of Jesus, I bring you life and healing right now. Severe bleeding. It comes to an end now. I'm hearing cancer of the rectum. I'm not a doctor. Whether you are here or following online, cancer is like cancer of the rectum. This is what I'm hearing. In the name of Jesus, 
I use this and any other variation of cancer, we command those cancer cells in the body of any of his victim to begin to die now. <laughs> to begin to die now. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's someone you have a boil inside your armpit, not around, inside your armpit. An uncomfortable boil. I don't know if you've taken any medical steps, but the Lord is telling me he's bringing you healing right now. He's bringing you healing right now. I'm hearing a word in my spirit, clogged arteries. Clogged arteries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to meet the doctors one time to teach me all these things so that when I'm saying it, I understand what I'm saying. Clogged arteries. I, but I believe that that it's a very whatever clogs any part of your body for whatever reason is already sentencing you to death. You know that one. In the name of Jesus, I command clogged arteries be open now. In fact, God is showing me someone, um, your heart, your heart is not fully functional. It's affecting your breathing. I don't know what that condition is now, but it's a serious, some sort of cardiovascular condition. I stretch my hands now. Every part that has been blocked or clogged, I command it to be open now. I command it to be open now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something very interesting. The Lord is telling me, I don't know why he's not telling me the nation, but he's saying we should pray for a particular African nation so that there would not be a resurgence of COVID. A particular African nation. In the name of Jesus, I know we are praying for the sick, but since the word has come, we pray particularly for the nations of Africa. We already drove that demonic spirit out of this continent. We close the doors of the continent again. In the name of Jesus. There will not be a resurgence of any, any news of COVID in Africa again. In the name of Jesus. Gastritis. The Lord is healing someone of gastritis by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone. I'm seeing you are bleeding severely from your nose and your mouth. Severely from your nose. I'm just looking at a vision. I'm seeing blood just coming out. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is. But I curse that spirit right now in Jesus name. I once prayed over this condition that God is showing me and I'm seeing that God is showing me again. Somebody, you, it's like you regurgitate food. When you eat, you literally regurgitate it out again to eat it. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that? Please, let me pray for you, particularly that person. I want to quickly come out. Quickly, we're still praying for the sick. If there's someone like that, quickly, please. Can you imagine this kind of thing? Beautiful lady like this and this demonic thing wants to plague her destiny. All of you. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Hallelujah. Satan, in the name of Jesus, if it was not so in the beginning, then we decree and declare. I don't know what the medical condition is where people regurgitate food out again. 
but I know that it is a wicked, demonic, and uncomfortable condition. I stretch my hands. Don't be embarrassed, my dear people who have come out. This A miracle service is like going to a hospital. There's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We're a family of love, and we're a family that are determined to see the word of God speak over someone's life. That lady, this lady, tap that lady for me. Yes. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I curse that spirit out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This your own is not even over this issue I'm praying for. I command that spirit. Uh, near success syndrome. I curse it from your life. In the name of Jesus. Now ladies and gentlemen, look at over one case. Just one case that is called. Look at the precious people. Are you seeing that sickness does not know race, age, level of enlightenment? Thank you first for the courage to come out and receive from the Lord. You're not going to waste your time. Now I stretch my hands towards you. Alongside every other person, I don't know if that is a digestive problem, but I use it as a point of contact for any other problem. The power of God is coming upon you people in front now. In the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. I release the power of the Holy Spirit now, 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 now. Be healed now. That condition stops now. I set you free. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to pray for lumps. God bless you. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. We are still praying for the sick. Take note for those who have been healed. We'll soon call you now for your testimony. I want to pray. I'm seeing several... Um, What's the name of this condition, the neck, deficiency of iodine? Goiter. There's somebody who has this goiter in the name of Jesus Christ. Your neck is already even, it looks like your neck is even swelling already. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I don't know where you are, but in the name of Jesus Christ. This woman holding a picture, run, come. Where are you coming from? Ogun State. Huh? Ogun State. Are you sick? Yes. What's I, wrong? I had a car ac um, accident on the 1st of January. My bum bum tore into two. Look at me. My mom. You came here with your mom? Yes. It's, I, I, it's okay. We're praying for them. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I, I looked at you and the Lord just beckoned that I called you. Can you imagine that kind of accident and that, that kind of injury? I can imagine the kind of pain that you're going through. In the name of Jesus, now be healed. Be healed. Madam, look at me. Do what I'm doing. Just do what I'm doing. If you feel pain, don't have. Huh? You want to you want to try running? Run. Any pain? Any give her the mic. She had an accident. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. When was, the, when was the accident? On the 1st of January 2023. Medically, you went to the hospital? Yes, I'm paddled. The bomb bomb tore into two. And right now, you can move without pain? Yes, sir. Look at this. Yes, sir. But you see, the most important prayer, thank God for this healing, but the most important prayer is this demonic oppression will not rise a second time. And we declare you will be perfectly healed. 
you will be perfectly healed in the name of Jesus hallelujah now I decree and declare high blood pressure anyone who is suffering from high blood pressure whether as as inheritance or something that just started from you I declare be healed right now be healed right now someone the nails the nails on your feet are rotting I'm sorry to use that expression but it's already squeezing like a, what they call it now is it an athlete's feet or something like that the nails the nails on your feet are beginning to rot in I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now and the Lord is also asking me to pray for someone because with what I see your teeth your entire you know your teeth is getting weak weak and weak and is something that is eating up your gums or something affecting you in fact you are suffering from very intense like a um, mouth odor it's not like you're a careless person but this is a serious dental problem and you need help you need the power of god i decree and declare over you'll be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who died and rose again for you and for those who you are lifting up in prayer that also includes those who are fallen from hospitals you can't believe how many hospitals in this nation and across the world air these miracle services over their patients as a commitment there are people right now on sick beds you know whose family members are just connecting by faith in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now lump in the right breast I command it to disappear now for someone I don't know what surgery you had on your legs but it's like something went wrong this is what I'm seeing I'm declaring that whatever went wrong with that surgery let it be corrected right now by the power of the Holy Spirit now I'm going to give you two prayer points and whilst you are praying please hear me I want everyone to check yourself the moment you find out that you could do what you couldn't do before you can now do or there's a, a visible miracle I want you to leave your seat very boldly and confidently and come and stand in front here we'll take a few testimonies while we're praying we'll do this very fast because there are still some other things that we have to do so if you are coming out for testimony whether for healing or any other supernatural miracle that has happened to you here please leave the, your seat very boldly while we're praying you can come and continue Continue your prayer here in front we'll take a few testimonies if you need to check yourself at the medical stand the medical stand is just at the back you can do well to go there let the doctors check you verify you and for those who have been healed we'll take a few testimonies very quickly whilst we're doing that please rise let me give you two prayer points we're going to pray and then we'll take a few testimonies Make sure you don't sit back. Once you have been touched, check yourself. You can call your loved ones who you stood in faith for. Please make sure that you, they have um, evidences of complete healing or healing. Then you make sure that you come to the front very quickly. And for those who are coming, if they are coming from outside or any of the overflows, please allow them, give them the liberty to come. Just guide them while they come. God bless you. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it with faith. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit supernatural restoration of time and of things over my life right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Supernatural restoration of time, supernatural restoration of things is someone praying those for testimonies begin to march forward supernatural restoration of time of things supernatural restoration someone is praying this prayer will work wonders in the life of many people restoration oh 
Your lifting has come. Oh, 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 oh. your lifting has come. Oh, 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 oh. your rising has come. Oh, In Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray are you ready for the second prayer point say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost every word assigned to announce me everyone assigned to help me everyone assigned to help me find visibility I command their ministries now open your mouth and pray it takes men used by God to help men rise someone is praying everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising for my visibility Assigned for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, Pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph's of Arimathea. Simeon's of Cyrene. The Naomi's. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Let me add that one prayer point and then we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll begin to collect, collate and collect our prayer requests. Those who are coming for testimonies, please allow them, even if we're not able to take everything, at least let it be a witness before God that um, they were touched by the mighty hand of God. Are we together? Someone is going to prophesy that throughout this year from now, that the step you take next must be higher than the one you're taking now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one spiritually financially and in every other aspect of my life open your mouth and pray no marking time no marking time no marking time constructive advancement progress by the spirit and in the spirit In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, please be seated gloriously for a few minutes. Let's celebrate Jesus for these testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, 
Testimonies are a revelation of what God is able to do in and through men. As you take these testimonies, let it build your faith. But while that is happening, please everyone pass your prayer request to the last person by your left or your right to make it easy for the ushers to receive. And those online, keep sending in your prayer requests right now. And um, we're also going to pray over the request. We'll be praying shortly for our request. Let's take our testimonies. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. Listen very carefully and let's glorify Jesus. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Um, I've been having back pain for more than 10 years. I've done physiotherapy. I've taken injections and so many other things, but it just doesn't go. It comes and goes. My entire spine, I couldn't stand very well before. But as I came today, I was feeling pain at the back, and my leg was spending me. And since January, my toes have not really been moving very well. But when I was to pray, I keyed in, and now I'm not feeling any pain. The pain is gone. Yes. Check yourself. No pain whatsoever. No, I'm not feeling any pain. Can you give Jesus praise? That miracle remains permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. God bless you, my dear. Hallelujah. Yes. So um, I walk for long hours. I sit to walk. So um, last year, last year I noticed my back started paining me. So I thought it's because I sit for long hours to walk. So sometimes I have to lie down and continue walking. Yes. The back pain is sometimes very terrible. And then when I came here, I came here with that pain. Even when I was sitting down, it was paining me ter um, terribly. So when Apostle prayed and immediately after the prayer, I was shocked. I, I moved my hand. I couldn't feel it. I had to even bend down to pick my water. Completely. To be sure. Bend down. Check it now. Check it now. Gone. Completely it's gone. gone. Celebrate Jesus, Koinonia. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Well, uh, Apostle, she has a medical condition. I will not go into the depth of mentioning. So I'll allow her to speak. Go ahead, my dear. Koinonia, good evening. Um, I, I used to have, like sometime last year, I developed a skin condition, demographia. It's basically skin writing, like um, you feel intense itching for no just cause. Okay. And then when you apply pressure, when you try to scratch, you have welts. It's like urticaria, but on a higher level. So um, I've been taking antihistamines since last year. And when I take it, I get relief, but then it doesn't last. Mm. I have to keep what taking it now? every day. Yes. So today I forgot to take my drugs and then I, am, I had to get water. But even as I got the water, I forgot to take the drugs again until I finished the water. So into the service, I started having itching. It came again. It's as if like, it's as if there's fire in my body and I just have to start itching. So and now when you now mention skin conditions, and now told God that I can't leave because I've been coming with it. Is that a miracle? Yeah, I'm seeing that woman walking. She could not walk. What happened to her? Come. Oh dear, lift it up and walk. <laughs> Koinonia, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You couldn't do this. How long? Four years. Four years. Yes. Where are you coming from? From just. Goodness. Yes. Please walk, madam. Just turn around and let me speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see, let me tell you the truth. You have to come. You have to put yourself in the shoes of people who are oppressed to know the the sheer inconvenience that they go through. You'll be surprised that this, this is still, she's still trusting God for perfection a bit, but you may be surprised at what this relief already, that she does not even have to use the walking aid. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord perfect you. Amen. Completely perfect you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jake, so sorry for interrupting. Yes, please. My so, dear, straight to the point. Yes, what so happened dream. to you now? As, as you were praying, I keyed into the prayer, and all of a sudden, I felt a calmness, like cool, breeze, and I'm here to give up Completely. glory to God. In the Amen. name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then secondly, um, I was 
I've been praying about divine direction and I, I go to God in prayer because I have a choice to make between somewhere in Nasarawa State and somewhere else in the East. So I was asking God for divine direction. I asked the Holy Spirit to help mm. me hear him while Apostle was preaching. So as he was preaching, he mentioned Nasarawa State in particular. And I believe that as my word and I accept it and I follow it in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, no. you gave word of knowledge of those who regurgitate. He's yes. 23, year, 23 years old. He has been regurgitating since when he was a child. Now, after you pray, the prayer, he went outside to take something and he couldn't regurgitate. It's gone he completely. Healed by the power of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to him again. Yes, please. Chronic ulcer for over two years, healed by the power of God. Ulcer healed. Three Let's years, celebrate Jesus. Three it years never... chronic ulcer too. Okay, yes. it never returns again in Jesus' name. She had an accident five years ago and broke her knee, so she couldn't kneel. While you were praying, the power of God came upon her, and then she could How kneel long? down. It's more than 10 years, and it's a family thing. My daddy had it, my brother also had issues with his leg, my sister too. And you broke your leg? Yes, sir. For 10 years? Yes, sir. Run now. She Check. also couldn't kneel. Now she could kneel now. Try to kneel. Any pain? Stand. Are you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, you are not only healed, you are delivered from that demonic curse. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. I've known about abdominal pain. pain. For over three months now, he's been healed. For three months? Yes. It she, never returns to you in, again in Jesus' name. Yes, She please. had a bone scar in her legs. They, they, they've checked on oh, no, you, don't need. They've checked at the medical stand. She has a? A scar, a bone. A bone. I had, I had a burn, um, so it's been really painful. And I couldn't do certain movements. So when you called people for natural stick, I felt, fell under the anointing and I hit my... Wounds. That's where you are from. I'm half Nasarawa. My mom is from Nasarawa. Oh, I see. So it was very painful when I hit my wound, and like I could barely stand. So by the time you started praying for, um, you know, the sick, yes. I felt the pain left. And yesterday I was trying to jump in my room because I've been trusting God to just take it away, and I couldn't. But now, like, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. It will never, never, never return to you again in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's take two more from there. Yes, gone pain, gone. You made mention of those who have problem with their teeth gone. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, healing for you right now. Two of them. Two of them. In sir. Jesus' name, you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. These children, what happened to them? They all had pains in their legs. Pains. Pains. Pain in the neck, pain in the leg, they are all healed. In the name I of... Was, I was having a um, neck ache, but as you prayed for me, I was normal having the neck ache again. It's turn, gone. It, turn your neck now. Turn your neck. God bless you, eh? He's spoken on behalf of all the others. In Jesus' name, I declare for all our children, you are perfected. No devil will touch you in the name of Jesus. Supernaturally protected in Jesus' name. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Thank you. All right, so Apostle, you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding someone with a heart condition. Yes, sir. And this woman came here with that. You came here with a heart, yes, please. Yes, I was born with sickle cell. So last year I was diagnosed with heart failure because I couldn't breathe well and I have pains in my chest and bloating and I cannot breathe well. Um, even when I came today, I came with pains in my body. I came from Kaduna. I have painkillers in my bag right now. But when because you, of the, the condition. Yes, I always, I'm, I always have pains in my body. Okay, what happened now? I just felt, my body just started shaking and I felt warm, like I poured warm water on my body. Yes. And that's it. Um, I don't have palpitations anymore. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare holistic perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's celebrate Jesus. Apostle, you gave another clear word of prophecy yes, sir. and insight regarding his case. So you spoke about somebody with the cancer of the rectum. You? Yes, sir. Verified? Of the cancer, not yet verified, but I came with the swollen feet. Uh, you Very big. You can't assume it's cancer now. No, 
No, cancer was verified. I did a, a oh, scan. Oh, the cancer is verified. Yes, it was verified. Yes, sir. Ah. So what he means by not verified, he means for his healing, he oh, needs okay. to check. Okay. Yes. He has to go to the toilet and check. Oh, no, but, but the, the, the cancer, can you imagine, how can a young man like this be? You see how demonic, you see how I was going to say, yeah, demonic Satan is. You see how, how, how terrible, can you imagine? I mean, this, this, uh, this guy is just starting out in life and this satanic condition of, of cancer. And, sir, he also came here, his legs were swollen. In fact, I had to look at his leg properly. Truly. Just to double check. Look at that. And it's gone now. It's going down. He came with a swollen foot and... Place your hand there. Father, perfect this. Amen. You will not die from cancer. Amen. We cost that demon... In the name of Jesus, you will go to the hospital and it will be verified that you are perfectly whole. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes. I came here. Anytime I eat food, I remove it. Anytime I eat even biscuits or I take drinks, I remove it. Whenever I'm eating beside my sisters, they drive me away that I'm eating food and removing it. So you called out people that eat, eat food and remove it. So I came out. After that, I went back. I bought this biscuit. You bought I this biscuit? Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Koinonia, don't be too used to the supernatural. Look at this. I tried eating the biscuit now. I just and it's gone. Now, you see, ladies and gentlemen, some of us, look at me. The problem that affected our self what started at this age. You see that? You may not know what this kind of miracle is. already a miracle to everybody. But to these precious ones you see. Imagine what it will mean driving them as a young lady growing up. Now, how old are you, darling? 14. You see that now? This is a teenager. And then driving her, school friends, whatever. This, the devil will cash in on this opportunity and this lady will grow into adulthood not believing in herself and believing every rubbish and garbage that society says. My dear, listen to me. It is not only that Jesus has healed you, you are a precious lady. Don't listen to that nonsense. Don't be sad at those who, maybe your loved ones or whatever, they are just doing what is human, huh? But in Jesus' name, we are praying for you. Never forget, anybody who tries to tell you anything, tell yourself, I am a champion. Say it. I am a champion. Say it again. I am a champion. Say it one more time. I am a champion. Bless, bless you. God bless you, darling. Thank you. Good evening, Koinonia. My name is Favor Edo. Anytime I'm sleeping, anytime I'm sleeping, my head will start paining me. If I shake it, it will pain me. But now it's no more paining me again. I don't know what is making me happy, whether it's a miracle or the intelligence of the child. Some of us at this age, you could not even read and write yet. You were still a prayer point. Hallelujah. My little one, how old are you? I'm nine years. Wow. You are a very smart girl, eh? In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Koinonia children in one minute. Just stretch your hands wherever. And if there's any child near you, lay your hands in one minute. We are not wasting our time. No parent prays for a useless child. No parent prays for a thief. No parent prays for an armed robber or a prostitute or a troublemaker. It is the consolation of every parent to have children that outdo them all wise. I want you to declare even if your biological children are not here, use these ones as a point of contact. We pray for Koinonia children. They are taught of the Lord and great is their peace. In the name of Jesus, they grow like the cedar in Lebanon. They are intelligent in the name of Jesus. And we declare perfection for this little one favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. By the way, um, the exercise book and the jotters, has it, have they been shared? Okay, so we're going to do them now. Make sure, in order of priority, every child in this place, they should get the exercise book or the jotters first before the adults. Please, this is an instruction. Adults, some of you, are we together? So all, don't collect for any child. If the child is not here, then 
the day they come you they will collect please so that we don't have all kinds of misbehavior in the house of god once you don't have a child here please i'm announcing don't harass the protocol please and please and please in the name of jesus but for all children beginning from my little one here in fact go and bring one for me i will give that favor myself bring quickly quickly please hallelujah my apologies pastor jakes for keeping you waiting yes you see we'll keep doing for these children what some of us didn't have the opportunity to enjoy some of you all you had all through your life was rejection and pain till you gave your life to jesus so this one's now where's the little one that went away let her come except if she's gone out is she here baby favor where are you come is she here she's gone where are her parents release the girl to come and receive her blessing now hallelujah anyway while she's coming these two my dear come come may god bless you where eh? bring the jotters now my people or the books whichever how old are you nine ten god bless you in jesus name you're a brilliant child there eh? in the name of jesus christ exercise books will do them more jotters will not really help children they're in school okay i gave you one okay let me give you one so it will go around this is your own eh? god bless you where is yes this is our beautiful baby favor so i'll give you two eh? this is your own thank you god bless you hallelujah who asks you to be an adult it's, it's already too late ladies and gentlemen you've had your time you've grown if you misuse it use what is in front of you to correct it but let us give this our children the best yes please go ahead all right so apostle just um quickly for them they both had problems with their legs so they were with their legs in the name of jesus sorry darlings we may not have the time for you to announce eh? but in jesus name we declare perfection for you by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name god bless you let's celebrate our children next person please praise the lord i've had difficulty reading small characters for over a year now reading small characters yes. okay yeah while you pray i laid my hands on my eyes and and right now I you are able that. to see yes, very can. clearly yes, sir. let's give jesus praise we do not trivialize the hand of god yes apostle this man had a dream of people shooting him and he woke up limping he's a security man and so because of that he lost the job so while you were ministering did you hear that testimony he had a dream people were shooting him shooting. he's a security man and he woke up physically and limping. lost his limping limping so because of that his job was terminated oh dear and now, right now now why you are ministering is you could work fairly look well at this now. it's no longer Come. limping hallelujah that's already half of the miracle come let me pray the other one if your job was terminated because of your limping then we need to pray that you get another job eh? a better one in the name of jesus do you believe in the power of prophecy i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit between now and next miracle service return with your testimony in jesus name we pray god bless you congratulations you pray for partial deafness his right ear has been you couldn't hear i couldn't hear for this ear for the past three weeks the ear has been completely blocked what happened all of a sudden during your ministration you mentioned deaf ear be healed now and although i felt this sensation on my ear the yes. ear is completely open in the name of jesus it remains open forever forever yes please next person very quickly mouth odor since last year is healed down okay, yes daddy um on september last year i started uh, noticing after my prayers midnight prayers um in the morning i will start uh, um, having mouth, mouth odor, odor. Yes, that's all right we'll pray for you in the name of jesus it is perfected right now by the power of the holy spirit let's have one more now, from this, here this testimony the doctor will help us to yes okay let us what have you been she had breast cancer and break breast cancer once it's metastasized to the lungs they will have difficulty in breathing yes most times we support them with oxygen in the hospital and they don't stand for long mama here came with breast cancer and it has metastasized to the lungs before now she can't stand for this long 
But now she can, she's been standing since she came in for her testimony. But she will, might have to go back and do this test a, to a, confess. A test again. Yes, sir. Everybody stretch your hands towards Mama or to the screen that you can see in the name of Jesus. Mama, we declare that you will not die. Yeah. Medically, it may look like it's getting to a very disturbing position, but we reverse it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The fullness of your days you will live. The Lord who granted you the strength to stand this long, may he grant you the grace to live to the fullness of your days. And that not in a hospital. You will be at home with your children in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be perfected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's have, um, have we taken that testimony? She, she stands, but she doesn't feel any sensation on her leg okay. since last year, except yes. when she touches the leg. That's when she can feel that she has a leg. Wow. But while you are ministering now, she, she can feel the sensation on her leg. You can feel your legs now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's take one more. Let's take one more from there. Heart palpitation healed. So um, when, when I came, I wrote my prayer request that God heal my heart. Both my parents and all my ancestors have high blood pressure and I've been struggling with high blood pressure for quite a little bit. It will crash, it will go up, but it had been stabilized at 130 something. But when he said, if you have a heart condition or whatnot, I felt something like a pain going up my throat and then I sneezed it out. So I went to go and check my blood pressure. I can't remember the last time my blood pressure was 120 something over. It completely crashed. Give completely. Jesus praise. Every every manifestation of negative inheritance it stops with you yeah. in the name of jesus god bless you let's let's take a few here and then we'll just wrap so up with apostle, we have testimonies point from the online community wow so amazing have, okay my father we have testimonies from tyler tyler says i had costochonditis and couldn't breathe properly after connecting online by faith as prayers were being made, yes. I can now breathe properly without pain. Amazing. Glory Let's give Jesus. Jesus praise. This one is from T from Canada. T says, Apostle said, boil in the armpit. It was me. I am healed. I am returning all glory to God. Hallelujah. This is from Grace from Cameroon. She says that while Apostle was mentioning uh, someone with cuts on their tongue mm. that earlier during the service she had gone to take juice from the fridge and drank some and she experienced the pain but immediately you called out the word of knowledge she said she began to receive it by faith and ants came up on her she felt like ants on her tongue okay plenty of them and, and then right it, now she's like healed. A calm, and then all her injuries are sealed up mm. praise god this is from Prempe isabella from ghana she says, I thank God for healing me of hormonal imbalance. Also, my period that has ceased flowing since 2019 started flowing again during service. My God, look at this. We declare over the online community and those who are following from across the globe, in the name of Jesus, as it is happening right here, let it happen, let it reproduce itself in your homes, your offices, your various viewing centers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. We'll take two or three more, then I'll do a general prayer. My name is Precious Egbegi. I've been having this tooth cyst in my tooth, my right tooth, for about two years, since 2020. I cannot chew, and I, can, I have challenges sleeping in the night. So now, when Apostle prophesied about those having tooth challenges, now I can grind my teeth. I can grind my teeth very well. In the name of Jesus, go and enjoy your liberty by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. My, my name is Chizara. Anytime, anytime I'm coughing, I used to have chest pain. Anytime you're coughing, you have chest pain. Yes. And right now? It's gone. Gone. It goes completely in the name of Jesus Christ. So both of them were healed of pain in the stomach. She had a sharp pain here. At the sharp side. pain and you too. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfection for your bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Let the next set be the last. So, she was healed of... My name is Catherine. So 
I can't stand for a long time, like 10 minutes. If I just wanted to stand, and then I can't even bend down, I can't bend what, down. What was the issue? What As happened? in my leg here. Yes. So the thing usually disturbs me. At so Apostle, she used to have, she has waist pain. Okay, Very waist pain, waist pain. I yes, see. And you've been healed. And right yeah. now you've been healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now for sake of time, I stretch my hands over everyone here those who have been healed, verified by our precious medical team, in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent. It remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me encourage all of you, even though you are not able to testify now, please do well. You can always register your testimonies. The media team will be glad to share it. And then any Koinonia service would be an opportunity for you to share. May God bless you. Let's celebrate them. Give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. How many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests? If you are yet to submit your prayer requests, please indicate by a wave of hand. There will be someone who will pick it up from you immediately. Is there anyone, any such people? Very quickly. Then let me request that we all stand. Please stretch your hands as we always do over the request. We are praying now. If there are still others, please bring them very quickly so that we we'll pray. Someone begin to speak already. Speak already. Declare over your requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and begin to prophesy over your prayer requests. Prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, Shabrateke parako shada vrende gebeleke tosiata skapata baraka toshka la brende sket egrete gerapo safasa dabalaka toska diadash kranda baga baga tosa davraska debeleke tosh manta prata ke paraka toska davrade ke debeleke ta shali gebere soziate ke parandos gavene kosha taliada embreke debereke debeke tosa do protos kodobala. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this request. Let every request here be turned into a testimony. Let every request here be turned to a testimony. Let every request here be turned to a testimony. Turn to a testimony. Supernatural testimonies from across the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus from across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles shout a loud amen supernatural breakthroughs in the name of Jesus supernatural connections in the name of Jesus supernatural restorations in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace over every request here represented that by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the God that answers speedily begin to answer for you from tonight there are people here who wrote testimonies before now I mean they wrote very serious requests you see the thing about the request here is that you you have the liberty of your privacy with god nobody reads it from here once it is prayed is collated and burnt so this is a representation of your faith and your desire and remember what mark eleven twenty four says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it i decree and declare because you have written as a sign of faith believing therefore may your hands receive them as answers we convert every prayer request here to an answer in the name of jesus most of the answers here will require the ministry of men in partnership with the holy spirit we call for such men now in the name of jesus christ no one here who has written his request will return back with shame I say it again, no one who has written his or her request here will return with shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
and for those of you who have written for your loved ones some of them do not even know that you've written this for them in Jesus name wherever they are across this nation and across the globe may the God of heaven locate them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak to you that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to speak over your life we're wrapping up already I'd like you to receive this prophetic word you've been encouraged this year to be opened now these exercise books we're going to share them they are all free is a gift just for you to have some will get exercise books others will get jotters I think most will get jotters because our children will swallow up our exercise book so the jotters are beautiful just as a point of contact and to help you I wish I had one so that they see what it looks like can you give me one protocol if you have one so it's my gift to you it's not for sale anybody if we catch you selling this thing we are going to arrest you I'm saying it straight to the point so there should be order in the house of God you have received it freely we shouldn't hear that anybody went somewhere and is trying to sell this koinonia books no very beautiful and it has prophetic quotes at the back just for your your blessings so this is powerful lovely quotes at the back let me read one for you it says popularity is people knowing you while impact is people being changed by your life this is one of it there and um, all decisions come with consequences you do not choose consequences you only make choices and then your choices determine the consequences that follow so this will remind you just granting you wisdom father we declare that these are blessed in the name of Jesus as many who will have them uh, here who hopefully will send some across the nation to so our families scattered in diaspora we declare that it will bless everyone in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen please if you are not able to get the jota or I, I presume so many people would get um, if you are not able to get be patient I'm sure that more orders will be made it's just that it will be difficult to get it it's a gift so it's not a right if you cannot get it then just wish whoever got it well and the most important thing is to receive the grace that the grace that um, that has come with it praise God let me speak over your life prophecy is powerful because it creates creates prophecy can create an enviable destiny prophecy can rewrite negatives out of a man's life and turn that which is supposed to be for shame to become instruments of blessings um, I hope that in the weeks to come I will share with us and update us some of the remarkable things that God is doing in this ministry already but I can tell you listen I've seen God move I've seen God bring favor but um, I'm just waiting for the due time to tell you some of the things that are lined up I can only tell you this that what God is doing in this ministry right now is simply fearful it is the mighty mighty hand of God upon us through us in us and what God is doing and uh, we thank God for his grace we owe it to you to update you and when the time is right and we put everything in place we'll be glad to give you all the necessary updates but just rejoicing knowing that God is already moving mightily nobody wants to belong to a dead vision nobody wants to belong to a vision that does not move does not have life newness is a sign of life are we together now so as I speak over your life, I told you that to mean that if God is lifting this ministry, it means you should not be at the same level. Therefore, I declare over you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the favor of God rest on your head. You know, I told you that the number one reason why people succeed is favor if this is the only grace you receive and leave I guarantee you you will return back rejoicing yeah. one more time I'm saying it especially for those who have not seen this grace walk in you 
I pray for you. This is a house and a life that God has shown favor in an unusual dimension. May that grace rest upon you. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. From across the seven continents of the earth, anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising, whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you, I take it out of the way now. I take it out of the way now. Number three, the grace for visibility. Whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen, especially by those who can celebrate God with you and even re reward you, I declare, may that grace cause your face to be seen. May that grace cause your voice to be heard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory, in this case Abuja here, or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare, the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field. Your portion in this land, or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you. I command it to gravitate towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, I pray for your family. If it is well with you and it is not well with your family, then it is not well with you. I pray for you. All your siblings, your parents, your loved ones, all who are connected to you by natural descent, by blood, and by responsibility, none of them will go down. None of them will go down. None of them will fall by the wayside. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia, let a mark and a mantle of honor, let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your destiny. Everyone who is in ministry here, and it looks like ministry is barren, unfruitful, you love God, you are serving him with integrity of heart, but there are no results that follow your loving and serving Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to command unusual results. Begin to command unusual results. I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for our children. We prayed for our children already, but we're praying for our children. Koinonia children will be known for excellence. Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper. Everyone in business here, I place an anointing upon you. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. Anyone here in need of a job, I declare may your supernatural job locate you. Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. This is a major prayer point. I've spoken about the things that pertain to life. Let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness. Because this is very important. Anything eating up your prayer life. So that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now yeah. 
whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things i decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar number two your word study life please hear me you cannot afford to live in ignorance the secret of dominion is access to light and even understanding in the name of jesus the grace to be a student of scripture the grace to be given to doctrine to learning may that mantle rest upon you now for those of you who love jesus but your company is full of bad and destructive people may my god separate you right now in the name of jesus christ edit your friends edit your relationships make sure love everybody mean everybody well but protect your focus protect your vision and make sure you surround yourself with people who are going where you are going in the name of jesus christ there will be no obituary from any family i say it again there will be no obituary from any family whether by road whether by air whether by sea be protected in the name of jesus thank you for your patience let's pray for nigeria we will keep praying for nigeria for as long as we meet until the election please no moving around we are praying we are responsible people hallelujah um nigeria is like a boiling pot and there are so many things happening right now you know we are trusting god to be able to select leaders that really love this nation and fear God and mean well for this nation from the presidency, gubernatorials, there are a number of people here who are, you know, in politics, some are even directly contesting for various positions. Please hear me, let me say this. If you belong to this ministry and you are contesting for any political position, Please be sure from your heart that you will not go and be a disappointment to Jesus and even to us. Many Christians cry and ask people to vote for them. Once they are voted into power, they throw away God and act like unbelievers until their tenure is almost finished. Then they just package more money and bring to church as a bribe to restore the damage that they have done for the kingdom. We pray that from this place, God will raise people who are different. Yeah. I pray for all of you here in this ministry who are contesting or connected to people who are contesting. May my God grant you favor. Amen. But I pray for Nigeria. We pray for Nigeria right from this place, from the presidency. That's right. Thank God for the national flag as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, we pray for this beloved country, Nigeria, and we prophesy by the power that raised Christ from the dead that there will be no bloodshed. Amen. Please shout amen. amen. Everyone or any parties or any individuals from the presidency down to local government or to councillors that are already preparing thugs, paying people, hiring mercenaries that there will be maiming and killing. In the name of Jesus, we release instruments of judgment from here. plot by the devil to dis to to disenchantify this uh, to 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 what was the word again disenchantize the, the voters and then cause them out of fear to not stay and vote by hiring people you've heard of people who will be voting and people will just come on a bike and spray people this time around it will not work <laughs> hear me i stand here in the name of jesus any arrangement for vote buying any arrangement for stealing manipulation of figures in the name of jesus may the hand of god and the sword of judgment speak against such and we declare that in a way we have never seen in this nation from the presidency to the lowest levels may god handpick for every region in the name of Jesus Christ but by all means we pray for peace in the name of Jesus Christ no violence whether pre-election during election or post-election 
I shared with you a vision last week that God showed me. We pray for all our media houses that God will grant them grace to do that which they need to do with intelligence and with excellence and professionalism. That the media houses will not be the reason for chaos and violence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The meaning of that is that since God is putting Nigeria in place, your life must be in place. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be for you. For all our international guests who have traveled all the way coming here, you return back with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Now let me give an opportunity for as many who want to make Jesus Christ Lord of their lives. Jesus is the epicenter for and of everything we do as believers. Hallelujah. And... It is important that in all our doings that we make commitments to see to it that Jesus Christ becomes our Savior, our Lord, and our King. There's someone here for sure who came here to church. You are listening. You are inside. And for the many across all the, over, the overflows outside and even those following online, please let's minimize movement and noise. And you are saying, Apostle, please do not end this service without giving me an opportunity. I love Jesus, but I've been searching for an opportunity to make it right with him and to make it right with destiny. And then there are yet others who are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life sincerely to Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I'm going to be counting one to five. Very boldly, knowing that you are loved knowing that he died for you. I want you to leave your seat as a sign of surrender and come and stand right here. Everyone who is making Jesus Lord of their lives, rededicating your life. Don't wait for someone to come before you come. This is a personal issue between you and Jesus. Young and old, male, female, please make your way. Let's celebrate them as they come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Alagbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobiju, you are the glorious God. Alagbara, you are the mighty God. I salute every one of you. Please, if you're, if you're coming, make it very quickly so that um, I'll pray for you, young and old. Thank you for making this bold decision. Jesus said, ye must be born again. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And please say this after me very loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Lord, as my Savior, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I receive the grace to go forward and to live a victorious life. I go forward ever encounter. Someone is blessing him. Thank you, Jesus, the God that doeth wonders. Ask him for an encounter tonight. Father, give me an encounter tonight. 
in the name of Jesus give me an encounter tonight an evidence that you visited me an evidence that you visited my family for in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray Among the gods who is like thee, you are glorious in holiness, you are fearful in praises, always doing wonders, hallelujah. Among the gods, there is no one like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Do we want us? Do we miracles? Hallelujah. Breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your name will hear your name. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. us tonight in the name of Jesus you have called it a miracle service let it answer to its name and to you be all the glory in Jesus name it's like a pit that has kept buried people uh, what I'm seeing is a strange mystery someone being buried yet the person is still alive I prophesy to those outside the overflow particularly I don't know what has buried your life and your destiny but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God right now let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest upon every destiny rest upon every destiny rest upon every destiny rest upon every destiny, upon every destiny. in the name of Jesus Christ Please show me the screen for those outside. I'm still praying again. I don't know why God is speaking to the overflow outside now. Not, not the basement. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to bring those out right now. Who will start running by the power of the Holy Spirit outside. I'm seeing this in a vision. Bring them out. I decree and declare right now by the anointing of the Spirit. Shabeke Toskata. The anointing of the Spirit of God is falling upon everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Outside, every spirit of delay that has tied anyone's destiny, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, as God is speaking to those outside, He is also speaking to everyone everywhere. I don't know what has tied you, tied your father, tied your mother. In the name of Jesus, let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. Who is Justina? Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. Justina, who is that? Come. Is that? Justina. Please, if that's not your name, don't come out. Madam, come. God is about to change your story. 
No, no, please. She can. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 